All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. We are halfway there, unless, of course, you work a job that's not a standard 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, then, uh, I'm sorry. It's a day. Dragnos, good to see you. Despite this praised waffle. <laughs> and no, it's Andrus, you didn't miss anything. The bot that lets people know when I go live does it before I can edit the uh the information about the stream. So it's always one stream behind. And honestly, I if I had known how lame the eclipse was going to be, I wouldn't have bothered streaming it. Like I was in the totality. I just thought this thing was going to be more. You know. <laughs> Eclipsy. Hey, Nakadox. Hey, Stax. And Puxel, it's good to see you, man. Thank you. I mean, it's there. People fight about it among the stars. Like, you know, it's more like star skirmishes. Uh, schizoid very soon, actually. A good chance this Friday. If it doesn't come out this Friday, wave one probably next week. But, uh, yeah, no, I would say good chance on it being this Friday. Yeah, Star Scuffle. I like Star Scuffle. Oh, Warhead, I wish. Although, Warhead. I did, uh, I did play around in 323 last night. And man, I gotta say, uh, Master Modes hurts my soul. And AJ, it's good to see you, man. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Well, you know, Nanya, um, we actually had a, a heck of a stream last, uh, last week. Yeah, Stax, I saw that. I am excited for that. They shouldn't get the cheat. They shouldn't get the cheat. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Knock and knock. Let me tell you why it hurts, all right? You know how you have to wait between SCM and nav modes. In the Caterpillar, it takes 22 seconds to go between each one. And you cannot cancel it. Also, if you want to check your heading, like let's say you jump to a place and you're flying in, and you just want to make sure that you're headed the right way. You cannot do that unless you enter nav mode, which takes, again, 22 seconds, is unable to be canceled, and you lose your shields to do it. That's like having to drop my pants every time I want to check my GPS. And just, you know, have my butt hanging out the window for a minimum 22 seconds. Actually, if you want to be able to go back to shooting people, it's 44 seconds. So that's nearly a whole minute of unable to shoot and not having shields. If you accidentally hit the button and are trying to get back. At the same time, turrets cannot fire in nav mode, which is weird because they have their own separate independent capacitors.
I just, I spent over an hour playing around with it. And at no point did I feel any joy or happiness. It was like eating cold fazolis. It was awful. There was no joy sparked. Like, if Mary Kondo had been playing the game, she would have thrown her computer in the trash. However, CIG have said that they're not, uh, they don't want feedback on master modes just yet. So I guess I'll wait. Maybe something better will happen. But in this current format, I feel like most trade ships are just absolutely hosed. Also, like, yeah, goodbye cruise control. Cruise control ain't in. So, I hope you like holding W. The auto run feature that most MMOs have had since, you know, the dawn of the MMO uh, are somehow not available on a spaceship. I mean, I'm sure it'll come back in some form or format but still. Uh, that didn't plot. Yeah, exactly, Xandris. Like, it shouldn't take me 44 seconds to, uh... Obstructed? How are we obstructed? Stacks for now, we don't have cruise control. It might come back before the build publishes to, uh, to live. But right now, in its current setup, there is no cruise control. Now, again... Don't forget, these patches are iterative, so we might not have it at the moment. So I don't want to go all doom and gloom over a partially implemented thing. It just it doesn't look it doesn't it doesn't look good at the moment, you know. But. Also, while watching Bob Ross, he'll put down a yellow on something, and I go, Oh god, no, he's ruined it, and then... Three minutes later, it's beautiful, so... You know, a boy can dream? We can hope? Here we go. Hurston, Hurston, Hurston. Yeah, AJ for now. Like, Arcturus, there is sticky throttle, but it doesn't really seem to work for certain things, especially not in the Caterpillar. I mean, now, Akron, that's fair. That is fair. That might be a slight false equivalence. I just, you know, I just wanted to use it as an example. I mean, like, we gotta have hope. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? All right, am I gonna be able to pull this off? Anybody I gotta worry about that I know of? It's looking safe so far. Look at this lord. I wonder what he's up to. Hey, Serpent All's in here. Hey, Sarone. I mean, Motar, there could be some hope. Also, I apologize for not being, uh, being here Monday, Tuesday. Monday after the eclipse. I finally got the N64 set up and I got lost in the sauce playing Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer as I had to unlock my boy Neva Key. 
And then yesterday, I had to install a fridge and an oven. And uh, that took a minute. That took a minute because they were very tiny fridges and ovens going into a very tiny space. And that somehow took longer than installing a normal set. I mean, Stacks, that's why we said so far. You always say so far. Yeah, Arcturus, like, I started, I started with my boy Dudbolt. Like, starting out, Dudbolt ain't that bad, you know? And then it was all Teamto Pegalia. And then eventually I unlocked Neva Key. Which, which is my boy. That and, uh, Ben Quadraneros. But Neva's my favorite, because instead of just having his pods floating, they actually sit in the back and they are directly bolted to the cockpit. And I just thought that was the far superior design for a, uh, a pod racer. Well, Motar, I don't have Goldeneye, but I do have Gauntlet Legends and four controllers. So, we've been getting together and playing Gauntlet Legends. Although, I gotta say, the voice acting for Gauntlet Legends, I cannot understand what in the world Wizard Dude is supposed to be saying. Like, there'll be something that's like, Red Wizard is, and then it's like, what is, what is, what is that final word that he's saying? Like, I can understand the useless dialogue. Like when you pick up meat and someone goes, I like food. So yes, yeah, wow. What a concept, liking food. But no idea what the narrator is supposed to be saying. Oh, Wolf, there'll be a way to make money. There will always be a way to make money. Because the thing is, all right, look at this. My idiot self is showing up solo to Pickersfield. We make tons of money here. But the reason I'm making tons of money is because I'm gambling. For example, Warhead and his crew could show up and there wouldn't be a thing I could do because I'm just one guy. Now, if I came in here with some friends, Oh, Serp needs help. Uh, maybe we should go try to rescue Serp and all. It's 12 mil away. Where in the world could Serp be that he's 12 million away? Those beacons still out. Delivery of priority. Oh god, that's right. Jumptown's still going, isn't it? I guess somebody did. Also, another thing. When you go to nav mode, you know, your shields drop. Well, guess what? When they drop, they're still using power. Like they ramp up to 100%. So you have a constant power drain with the shields trying to recharge, but they can't. Like you have to manually turn them off. And it's like, why? Why are we just sucking power away. Also, um, I'm gonna need a small loan of $2.5 million. Or maybe start a GoFundMe for $2.5 million. I have not, Nakanox. This is gonna sound silly, but 
I used to do this thing where I would not touch mods because I wanted my experience to be the same uniform experience that everyone else had. Uh, yes, Mabutu. Real, real dollary dues. You see, Mabutu, last night I was trawling through Zillow looking at fancy houses I'll never be able to afford. And, uh, there is this mansion about uh, maybe 10 minutes away from me. And this mansion has an arcade in it. And one of the things in this arcade, between the ski ball machines and the arcade cabinets and the pinball, is a dynamo air hockey table. Here, actually, I'll I'll drop you guys a link. Check this check this place out. It's got four stories, an elevator, uh, like a, a pool room, table tennis. Although we just call it ping pong down here. Um. A waterfall, pool, whatever a grotto is. I'm still not entirely sure what a grotto is. Man, look at all that good mining. Just right next to, to Picker's Field. But, uh, yeah, you know, just, 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 need, just need a couple of bucks. Need a couple of bucks. Just keep scrolling. You'll find the arcade. Yeah, Arcturius, there's, uh, there's a lot of things in there that I wouldn't go for. Yeah, the cave pool is nice. All for the low, low price of $2.5 million. Oh, Warhead, God, no. I was, uh, actually, I don't know if he can hear me. Uh, hold on, I'll just type it out. Yeah, see, Eagle, that's that's the attitude right there. That's the attitude, yeah. If I could just get a small donation of two point five million dollars, I'll uh I'll I'll link whatever you got on Twitter or a shout out. Yeah, that's it. That that's how these things work, right? What, Sarone? You don't like Arkansas? It's in Little Rock. Little Rock's nice. It's on a lake. It's actually a really nice lake. I have to drive by it whenever, uh, whenever I'm headed towards like Target or Walmart. Basically, whenever I have to head to McCain, I have to go by it. And uh, I've actually probably seen the back of that house and just never realized. No, Arkansas is not the worst. Jim, we're going to risk it, man. We are going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I'm a boo too. That's, that's a problem. Yeah, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll crowdfund the money for it. And, uh, you know, everybody can come by and visit. We'll make it uh, a community-owned mansion. Yeah. But Sarone, it's got a boat dock right there. You can you can swim in the lake. It's actually a fairly nice man-made lake. Like it's small, and uh, I don't think anybody's putting the alligators in it yet. Oh, yeah, Mother Fig. Here, I'll, I'll link it again. We were talking about this place for sale. Yeah, that's it, Sarone. I definitely make enough money from streaming to get a mansion. Yes. You know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm not doing my due diligence. Let's make sure I don't get shot. I was about to buy. Howdy, Neptune! Oh, 
Uh, gold, people fish on it. A lot, actually. Nobody shot me. Oh, Sarone. I don't know about that, man. I mean, gold, you're right. And by that, I drive a Honda Fit that I call Lambo. Actually, I call it an Amundo. After. Because because that's that's E Honda's full name is Edamundo. And you know it's it's E Honda. It's, it's a Honda. You know what I mean. Jim, I don't know, man. Like you would really have to Yeah. I mean you could vault into the caterpillar side doors now, but you gotta you gotta really reach for for that, you know? Ah, appreciate it, mother fig. But yeah, really, I just, I actually thought about legitimately contacting the real estate agent and seeing if they would just sell me the air hockey table. Like, that's, that's what caught my eye with the listing, was the air hockey table. Like, I don't need the pool... Or anything else. I mean, God, I wouldn't be able to even afford the taxes on that. Yeah, Mabutu, the, the cave is nice. And you've got a boat dock right there attached to the house. Hey, fish. We sure are. Gee, I hope nobody comes and attacks me while I'm being fiscally irresponsible. Yeah, Mabutu, it's got an elevator, dude. It's four stories. Like, its basement has a basement. I could... I could put my stream set up in the basement basement and be the true neckbeard basement dweller I was always meant to be. And Jim, maybe a little I mean, Gold, it's got a huge estate. You wouldn't have to hear anybody unless you wanted to. It does, Neptune. Like, it feels like where they would film, like, Batman and Robin if they ever remade it. Which, I actually watched that movie the other day on Laserdisc. And, uh... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put an opinion out there. That might not be well received, but, you know, it's an opinion. So, you know, whatever. But, um, I actually think that the 19, I think it was, what, 97? That the Batman and Robin movie is actually one of the more faithful adaptations of Batman to film. Uh, fish head, it's on a very creatively named lake called Lake One. There's two lakes near it. There's Lake One and Lake Two. And there might be a Lake Three. But yeah, I actually think it's one of the more faithful Batman movies. It stays more true to the, uh, the Batman character. Uh, Mozart, it was, it was just Mr. Freeze. It was Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, and Bane. Nice, Cerrone. Except, yeah. Yeah, the SRV has limits when it comes to weight. Were you able to get anybody with a Starfare to come get you? And I will say, it's super slow, but if you put, like, a, an Erebos in there, you'll have a, let, or a lot less fuel issues. Yeah, Jim, like, one, I feel like, uh, I feel like George Clooney actually does a really good job of doing more of, like, a film version of a Kevin Conroy Batman. 
And, you know, he actually cares about, uh, about Freeze. Like, Freeze, there's someone else who's sick. I know you're still in there. Please help me help them. And when you go to Arkham, I'll bring your wife, who I also saved, and you can keep working on a cure for her. And, like, he actually did listen to, uh, to, to Poison Ivy's manifesto, and I feel like maybe they wouldn't have had an issue at all if they could have found compromise. But, uh, they, they didn't, they didn't do that. Arnold was the best thing in that movie, though. Just listening to him have that maniacal laughter while saying silly ice jokes was the best. Yeah, exactly, Jim. Like, you know, Batman is made for kids. Yeah, Warhead, it was great. Like, I don't like this whole, like, oh... It's super gritty and dark. It's like the dude is dressed up like a bat. Dude fell down a well or whatever. It was traumatized by a small flying rodent and went, that's it. I'm going to make that my entire personality. While I punch a guy with a ventriloquist dummy and beat up a dude who has mustard in a, in a mustard gun and shoots people with condiments. Ah, that's her, Saron. Yeah, no, there is no fuel in that reclaimer. They really try to mitigate its earning potential by having no quantum fuel. Yeah, man, good luck with the meeting. Yeah, Arcturius, it does. Oh, yeah, Jim. Polka Dot Man? There was also, uh... What was it? Captain Quilt? or quilt man or now like you've got some other guys like you know the joker who's just crazy And then there's... There's... Bane, I guess? I guess there's Bane. Ooh, Apple. Good luck, buddy. I'm glad it's just a screening, but still, good luck. What, uh, what do they got you eating? God, I'm on top shot. I just realized I'm not seeing everything. So. Yeah, are curious. Like I, I like that Bane's entire vocabulary is just either saying what he's doing or repeating like the last word that someone says. Like, he just shouts the word bomb every time he places a bomb. Which happens like four or five times. Hey, Activavian! I mean, I'll press getting people into running turrets if they like. Liquid only tomorrow. Does that just do milkshakes count? Oh, I need to swap those guns. I'll do it while I'm down here on the planet.
I mean, fish, I think the reclaimer does do better than a barrel run. Thing is, you can't just go with the grid. The cargo grid and the reclaimer is just a suggestion. Please proceed to assign landing bay. You fill that puppy up as much as you possibly can. Oh god, Neptune. Is that is that here? Or is that in your neck of the woods? I mean, Arcturus, that's not the worst idea. Oh, Apple, that sucks, man. Yeah, I don't... Like, aside from my ices, I don't really do sodas. I mean, fish, I still don't want to touch barrel. Although I might go do a barrel run after this. It's been a minute since we've touched barrel. I doubt I am. Hey, Phaedrus. Hey, Phaedrus, let me ask you a question. You're not in the in the market for a house, are you? I need to buy something out of a house. Where am I going? There we go. Concept, like it's not even built yet. I'm just saying, Arcturus, if somebody needed to buy a house, I can make it slightly cheaper by buying the the air hockey table out of it. Yeah, Phaedrus, check check this place out. Check this place out. All right, I'm going to link it. So, so Phaedrus, this house is about 10 minutes away from me. It's on a lake, has its own boat ramp or dock, and then like a waterfall, cave, pool, but the crown jewel is that it has an arcade in the basement. And in that arcade is an air hockey table. It's a dynamo, eight foot table, tournament standard. Well, okay, so the table itself isn't tourney standard, but the length is tourney standard. Um, tournament standard tables don't have the overhanging scoreboard. But that's, you know, that, that's fine. That can be there. It's not like I'm not doing an actual tournament, but... Uh, Anyway, I need the air hockey table. I thought about contacting them and seeing if they would just sell me the table. Uh, failing that, we'll just crowdfund $2.5 million. And, uh, you know, we'll have like a, a stream-owned mansion. Because that'll totally work. That'll, that'll totally, totally work, right? I mean, collectively, we've got all $2.5 million. Jim, I did not. I barely got the money for a lottery ticket. I just... I was cruising on Zillow the other night because a boy can dream and uh, I saw the air hockey table and I had a dream. Gold, that's it. Timeshares, right. You guys want to start a timeshare? Hey, one punch. I mean, Apple Arkansas isn't the worst, you know, like, and it's in Little Rock. Uh, technically, it's North Little Rock. For some reason, they're different. Oh, God. They're different uh, cities. Jim, I would destroy a Walmart brand air hockey table. I don't. I don't 
know if I can properly communicate the amount of force that gets applied while playing air hockey. And Rod, thank you, man. Thank you, Rod. It's good to see you, buddy. What have you been up to? Oh, Mobutu, Arkansas is beautiful. You have so many natural lakes and ponds. Trails, beautiful vistas of various mountains. Like we've got plains, mountains, hills, swamps. Like aesthetically, it's very beautiful. It's the people that mess it up. Yeah, I me mean, plow. I believe it. Whoa, Neptune. See, see Neptune. Let me tell you about the 60 million I don't have. You know, Rod, I really enjoy running the acclaim the uh the reclaimer. My issue is once I start hitting the double digits in money, as far as millions go, I just kind of stop. Now, gold, once you get to the third cousins, it's it's okay. It's okay. You know, mother fig, that's that's fair. Although I feel like a lot of the people that I meet in just everyday, you know, everyday interaction are usually quite nice. Like, I know the lady at the gas station. She sees me coming. She gets ready with my Crispitos. Because she knows I like to buy Crispitos. Guy down at the comic book store holds, uh, holds that one Transformers comic that I pick up. Even though... I don't order enough comics to have a box set aside. Howdy, Death. Death, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to crowdfund that uh that mansion. Yeah. Ah, Rod, that's fair. I've thought about going for that sometimes. Nah, mother fig, I, I can't claim that. I can't say that I'm cool enough that I make people nice. That's not... Nah. It was already in them. Ah, death. Death, I, man, I would have totally came if I didn't have to buy tires. That was about $500, well, 476 after tax. But I had to buy a set of tires for that fit. And between, you know, getting a hotel and transit up there, I just, I'm not going to have. I'm not gonna... What am I doing? I should be at Dumber's Depot. I should be at, uh... North Tower. Yeah, see? See, Meat Plow, like... Same. Same. <laughs> Thank you, kid. Thank you, Bev. Thank you, buddy. And knock and knocks, that's not the worst idea. But I I still wouldn't be able to. Like, I could probably get a hold of a thousand dollars. Which is what is that, one percent of a million? That might not even be one percent. Might be hold on. I can't do math in my head, I have to write it down. Anyway, I wouldn't have the money to get a hold of that house. That's it, Arcturus. 
realistically, even if I somehow got the money for it, I wouldn't be able to pay for it. You got taxes. Can you imagine the upkeep on that place? The landscaping alone, man. So it's just, you know, that's why I just need the air hockey table out of it. That's, that's all I want is the air hockey table. I don't need anything else. Hey, Raymond. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you haven't missed much. Oh, yeah, the utility bills. Ooh. Exactly, stacks. Like, realistically, I'm actually in a pretty nice place. Like, I'm, 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 I'm okay for now. Not like where I'm at. I just wanted that air hockey table. See, Mabutu. I don't use the heat, but I definitely use the air. Exactly, Warhead. Um. It's not there. We all took four. Aha, it's there. It's there. It's there. Whew. Oh, man. Meat plow. I can imagine. You guys got tons of folks. Meat plow. Let me put it like this. The entire state of Arkansas. And I mean the state. The entire state. Is only 3 million people. In fact, our most populous city, Little Rock, is, um, hold on, let's look it up. It's only 200,000 people. So there's a lot of space here. Everybody's really spread out. I mean, Neptune, you can buy a house here for 50,000. It's not going to be a nice house. And it's probably going to need to be fixed up, but you can. Ah, yes. Meds have been taken. I live again. Meds are taken. Whoa. Come on. Let me on, let me on, let me on. Oh. Yeah, they have been taken. Yeah, see death. Okay, let's let's say that I actually went to Chicago. I'm looking at flights right now. If I left on the 19th and came back uh, 22nd, doesn't have to be the 22nd. Cheapest flight is $300 round, but that is 16 hours because of connecting flights. Which. <laughs> Thank you, gold. Thank you, gold. Thank you, bed. Can you imagine that? Like, imagine there was a streamer without a mansion sitting in front of you right now. What would you do? Thank you, Gold. And death, the train. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll uh, let's look up train. I think the train is actually very similar in price. Little Rock to Chicago. Nope, nope, nope. Come back. Come back. It takes all of us working together to keep our safe and secure. Be 
I would have to leave on Friday. Actually, I'd probably need to leave Thursday. Because I wouldn't hit Chicago. I might hit it in time. Let's find out. Let's find out. And then the return date. Let's just say Sunday. We're just looking for prices. Hey. That might actually get there. Er, wow, that's faster than the connecting flight. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, okay. Holy crap, the train is sold out for Sunday. All right, what about... Yeah, no way I'm going to get a private room. Hold on, I got to change this search. Let's say, let's say the 22nd. Okay, so if I took the train, I'd be looking at about 220, 230 after taxes. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. You know, Warhead, I saw that they're going to have the VIP area again. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been. Please visit us again. Hello, and welcome to Riker Memorial Spaceport. Servicing the. Hangar 7. Oh, uh, yeah, Ray, but of course. Of course. I don't need no mansion. We're just having fun. I mean, death, I have literally lived in a house that had a hole in the floor. And I don't mean like, you know, somebody accidentally put a, a knife through it. I mean, like, you had to walk around it because the floor had collapsed in. Hey, squirrel sure did meds have been taken I live another day yeah gold. I mean mother figure it's not that hard I mean can I want to do it I want to raise a drink with you play some pool I want to talk about how I've been playing pool for every day and then watch me accidentally just throw everything off the table because I'm still really bad at it. Um, Vaders, I haven't. Like, I know of it. Like, I've heard of it, but I've never actually seen it. You are clear to launch. But yeah, I really do enjoy the Chicago Bar Citizen. Maybe I should start one in Arkansas. Be like, dear CIG, please come to Arkansas. And then CIG writes back and goes, what the heck is in Arkansas? Dragno's waffle has been praised. Waffle's been praised. He's been fed. Despite his transgressions. Oh, stacks, it's an excellent idea. Tell you what, we'll grab the uh, we'll grab fueled by Genie. But yeah, like, you know, if I got the if I got the train up there. That wouldn't be too bad. It does, Phaedrus. I'm going to do my best not to segue into Waffle House music. Yeah, Death, I'll shoot you a message. Like, it's still tentative. I would have to really, really go down. Uh, so, Mobutu, Arkansas is known for being the only natural source of diamonds in the U.S. We also... Uh, we have... Uh, 
Billy Bob Thornton. Um, lots of natural beauty. You know, lakes, streams, rivers, mountains, hills, swamps, rolling plains. Um, I am really struggling hard here to, to sell Arkansas. Um, chocolate gravy. Right, hot springs. We have tons of hot springs. I mean, Mother Fig, the diamond mine is a giant hole, but it's open to the public. You can come in, bring buckets, and dig up your own diamonds. In fact, people do that. And it is very rare, but people do find diamonds that are actually worth it. Like, most of the time, it's just quartz. It's like, you'll go home with a bunch of quartz, and you could sell it to, you know, Bristol people. Yeah, chocolate gravy is a thing. People, people like it. Uh, negative pagers, that is in Memphis. Bass Pro Shop is in Memphis. You know, biker, I actually really wanted to drive the trolley. Well, luxurious. Aside from the heat, you know, it's something I've done all my life. Now, the heat sucks. But, um... It's not so bad. Because the thing is... Alright, alright. You know the phrase, a person is smart, people are stupid. You know, I've lived in the South... All my life. And while I've met some real idiots, most of the people that I interact with... End up being very kind people who... Despite not knowing who you are or you are a complete stranger to them, they will kindly go out of their way to help you out. Like, when I was a, when I was an idiot teenager, I pulled up to the stop sign near my house, and I'm right on the edge of the asphalt, and it crumbled under my car. And my car literally has the back left corner up in the air because the underside had been washed out and the pavement, you know, totally uh, just crumbled as I was parked on it. This truck pulls up behind me, guy gets out, asks if I need some help, and of course I do. Puts a chain on my car, hauls me out, won't even let me give him the 10 bucks I got in my pocket, and just drives off. Oh, Neptune. When I say hot, man, like, it gets 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, it will easily hit 40 degrees Celsius here in the summer. I mean, gold, that's fair. Like, you don't have to be happy. You just have to be kind. Like, you can be a total sourpuss and still help out somebody in need. I mean, Ram and I did have a Leonard Skinner tape in my El Camino, so, you know. I, I can't really beat the accusations. Yeah, I'm a boo too. Like, once they're in a vehicle, like, I've, I've had a lot of... Ugh. I've had a lot of issues with people on the road. Warhead it was not stuck in the deck. However, it was replaced with uh, the Bruce Willis album when he did that one movie where he pretended to be a rock star. You guys ever heard Bruce Willis sing Secret Agent Man? I also had some Billy Joel in there. Hey, Lonix. Lonix, are you headed to the uh, the Chicago Bar Citizen on the 20th? Oh, Dragnos, it gets hot and humid. 
my grandfather was in Vietnam and uh, he used to tell me that Arkansas and Vietnam were pretty much the same in in temperature Hey, you guys have a game called Underspace, by the way. Hey, Counterlink. At the moment, nothing. I think I'm going to go pick up some barrel. We got lucky and got out with an RMC run. Which was, you know, nice. But, um... Uh, The best way to maintain your luck is to, to not press it. Yeah, Neptune, have a good one, man. I was trawling through, uh... through my email that I just never ever check because I'm bad at you know yeah I'm bad at streamer stuff apparently at launch today I'm supposed to be in the same vein as like you know freelancer Wing Commander, all that. Lonix, I would love to. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Just because, you know, expensive. Like, I would have to spend minimum... Minimum about $230, $250. Just on the train ride up there. And then, you know, there's food and it's going to be at a bar. So, you know, we have to have at least one drink. I might check out this under space game. Yeah, that's it, Lonix. Being held back by money. See, Stacks, I never got to play Freelancer. Yeah, Raymond, I, I don't I don't think I would classify myself under the uh, the redneck umbrella. Actually, as a kid, it used to really bother me because I would start speaking to someone and they would go, You're not from around here, are you? It's like I I've lived here all of my life. What do you mean I'm not from around? Because they always judge me on the way that I spoke, and it's like... I'm from Arkansas, I just... grew up on TV, and... my parents never interacted with me. So I learned to speak from, like, Tom Brokaw. The various cast of, of Wishbone. That's it, Arcturus. I am noticeably white. In fact, if you were to take a picture of me and then use Color Picker and Microsoft Paint, you would probably get back six Fs in hexadecimal. Wait, Squirrel, which one? Is there a new one? Am I getting so old that games are slipping by me? You know, Biker, I don't know how I feel about the Fallout TV series. 
Because I assume it's following its own story instead of any of the particular games. And, uh... I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Wheel of Time. Or at least, you know, I was growing up. And, uh... There's a lot of changes in the TV show that I just cannot sit with. Ah, okay, I got you, Squirrel. All right, I'm caught up now. Interesting. What is parked over there? Yeah, see gold, like... Now, I do want to clarify, Wheel of Time is not, like, the best thing ever written. Like, Robert Jordan basically discovered anime and, uh... Decided he'd write his own Lord of the Rings. Put some anime twist to it. Yeah, see, Warhead, I'll give it an episode, but I'm not hopeful. Hey, deplorable. What could be... Over here, why don't you want to reveal yourself? Okay. Okay. Yeah, gold. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Oof. Got a bad. You know, Lonix, I was really bad at God of War. There's something about the way that it plays that just made me unequipped for it. Yeah, exactly. Knock and ox. Like, you know, wheels wheel of time super great? No. Like, as a kid, it was captivating. And also, like, my first real exposure to fantasy, so it had a special place in my heart. And I would like to see it treated well. Couple, that's why I'm not. There we go. You know, Mobutu, I heard that Shogun was really good. I just... Oh, I've got so many things... That I'm going through. TV-wise. Not, like, in life. I just mean, like, a lot of, a lot of media... And Raymond, it wasn't that. It was like more of the, uh... Could you describe it as hack and slash? I guess it is kind of hack and slash. Hmm. Wasn't that Vanguard parked earlier? Don't like it. Don't like it. I shouldn't buy, but whatever. Ah, oh, Warhead, that's fair.
and Raymond, I will I will admit, like I watched a friend play a lot of God of War 2. And it just felt like every character was needlessly angry. Like Kratos, I get, because you know the man is literally just too angry to die. Man, she buy that base price astatine still. Uh, Mabutu, still too early to tell. I would like to get a hold of it and at least try it out before, you know. But here's the thing, though. It's going to make trading take a lot longer. Which it would be nice to see much larger payouts with overall longer trade loops. Well, sometimes, like, you know, if you if you got a lot of work or more responsibilities than I do, like, you know, some of you guys got kids. You want to be able to complete something in less than two hours. Yeah, yeah, I mean, or you guys have been manually loading for years, yeah. But, like, you know, for everybody else... There's MasterCard. One punch, I think we're getting it Friday. I've got a hunch it's going to be Friday. The thing I want to know is, let's say I come to an outpost like this, right? They got freight elevators, but is it still open air? Am I going to be loading for 20 minutes and any schmuck can come along and just hop on? Without any sort of, you know, recourse. Also, can you imagine having to load on Ida while you can only walk like this because of a storm? Oh, that's a pain. That's an absolute pain. Oh, Rod, you should you should go back. Return to Caterpillar. Or had I always leave the door open? Always. Because, Warhead, it's very difficult for someone to get inside by themselves. And even if they do, then it's on me. Because if I come back, like, if I come back and they're there, then there's nothing I can do. You know, they're going to be waiting while I send it down anyway. So what's the difference between me leaving it down and they're standing there waiting for me to come back because they can't send it up or them standing there, you know, waiting for me to bring it down anyway? Like, it's, it's the same thing. Like, I guess with a tractor beam, they could finagle a way in. Jim, educate me on how. Like, I believe you. I, I, I want to hear how. And gold, I have no idea what that is. Tell me, tell me more.
You know, Warhead, you missed it the other day. I, uh, I got accosted by pirates. And, uh, we had a huge, long, drawn-out fight. Yeah, Warhead. Yeah, you can't send it up. The caterpillar, like the, the lift, is locked even from the inside. But yeah, Warhead, um, I got accosted by pirates. We had a long, drawn out fight. And then I asked if they wanted to parlay. And we negotiated for a while. And like they wanted four million. I, I told them 1.2 million and we decided that we would have a fist fight on top of the caterpillar while it floated in the air. So they send one of their guys on top of the caterpillar and I get a ride on top of the caterpillar and we have this fist fight on top of the cat and I actually ended up winning. So I paid them 1.2 million. And uh, we went our separate ways. It was uh, it was a good fight. It was a really great interaction. Yeah, meat plow, Nomad Dennis and his crew, Blackjack Bill. And Brian, it's good to see you, man. How you doing? And yes, yes, Adam was there. Adam was there. He had the race to get there. Nah, Mabutu. I think I did the right thing. Like, it was, it was a compromise. You know, when nobody's happy, it's a compromise. Ooh, Brian, that bad, huh? Brian, are you, uh, are you going to the Bar Citizen in Chicago this Saturday? Or not this Saturday, uh, next Saturday? On the 20th? Welcome back, Cerrone. Oh yeah, Dragnos. I mean, they're rare. I mean, it probably would have ended up being a soft death if I hadn't, you know, asked them if they wanted to parlay. Because it's kind of hard to type when you're getting shot at. <laughs> I mean, Dragnos, if I, if I, if I got to go, which the chance is low. The chance is low. I got to get up there and that's just, just a lot of money. But, uh. I'll, I would ask them for you. In addition to the lobster. The lobster would be... Chef's kiss. Oh, Brian, that's fair. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Montana, is that the, uh... Is that the Marias Pass? I've been there in Microsoft Train Simulator. Yeah, I mean, Plow, missiles. Oh, missiles are my weakness, man. I cannot hang with missiles. Oh, Rod, tell us about pizza. Yeah, gold. That's, that's not, that's not, you know, that's fine. I'm going to ask about the lobster no matter what. You know, Arcturius, I would take that. Even if I was universally hated and reviled, I would take the lobster. Rod, do you remember when they had the food truck for April Fool's? It was the, uh, the Reliant. There was a Reliant food truck. Ah, okay. 
Okay, gotcha, Brian. Yeah, my bad. I, uh... It's literally the only route that I know along that way. I played a lot of Microsoft Train Simulator as a kid. And they had... They only had six routes in the game. But one of them was through Marias Pass. I think it was Essex, Marias Pass... Whitefish? Don't don't quote me there. Snowstorm, huh? Oh, I never come here. And of course, when I do come here, it's dark. Hmm. Brian, you haven't, uh, you haven't been on any of the tr uh, tracks between Arkansas and Chicago recently, have you? Like, I think that's more Union Pacific than... than anything, but... There's a bar citizen next week. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to go, but I was thinking about going up that way, and... The train would be a little bit cheaper. To see if those rails were in any decent shape. I mean, they can't be worse than a Boeing right now, right? Oh, Rod, that would be nice. Like, actually having to do the gameplay... No, there is that food truck simulator on Steam. Just import that to a cutlass. Open the door, selling burgers out the side, like you could park up in Pyro. How oh, did it, Brian? What, uh, what's the, what's the verdict? What's the grade? Like, I'd fly if, if I go. I don't, I don't know if I'm going. Travel, stay, food. I don't know, Raven. I'm not that observant sometimes. Oh, 1010, really? Oh, good. Like, I know it's not the Arkansas line, but still. Oh, Newsy, I'm holding out hope, man. And Raymond, I don't think so. I haven't heard anything. Oh wait, Arcturia, so are they just shrinking it like in terms of how wide it is? Because if that's the case, I mean, that could be all right. It's literally just empty space.
Oh, Dragnos. How long has it been since Evo had Pyro, though? Wasn't that just during the meshing? The mesh test? Finally. Man, getting through ores takes so long. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Yeah, drag notes. I honestly, if it does shrink, I'm cool with it. Like, I'm going to wait until they actually, you know, say something. But I'm cool with it. I, uh... I don't want to sit in, in the pipe for 45 minutes, you know? Especially when you look at the fuel tanks of, like, the Reclaimer. Like, let's say you got an Erebos you're trying to jump across pyro like you don't you don't want to do that howdy silas silas you going to the uh the bar citizen in chicago next week Shot in the dark, just, you know, checking. Oh, Dragnos, it was awful. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval. Twenty two seconds to go between nav and combat mode, and vice versa. Um, once you're in nav mode, turrets cannot fire, even though they run on their own separate capacitors. Um, if you want to be able to see where outposts are and such, you have to go to nav mode, which means that you lose shields and the ability to fire. So it's basically like having to pull down your pants. Every time you want to check the GPS. Overall, not a fun or ex enjoyable experience. Like, I, I had no joy during my time with Master Modes. Um, now, again, it's not... <sighs> fully implemented. I mean, according to CIG, I don't even think they're looking for feedback on master modes yet. So, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait till it hits live. But in its current iteration, nothing about it is fun. Ah, Silas, that's fair. I'm sorry, man. I'd like to go to at least one, since I will not be going to CitizenCon this year. Hey, Shadow! Now, are curious? That is a thing. Like, it does... It kind of capacitorize... That's a word, right? Your shields. So when you reconvert to SCM, you do get your shields back. They build back up during the process. But it's still 22 seconds long. Wait, Leighton, is it part of it now? 
could have swore they said they weren't looking for feedback on it yet. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to whine. Whine, whine, whine. Now, also, Art Curious, that might be part of the, uh, that might be part of your quantum drive. You might be able to shorten that down with a better quantum drive. But with the stock Pontus and the Caterpillar, it was 22 seconds. Wait, Leeton, is that for today's patch notes or is that yesterday's? Red or white? Death, that, that depends entirely. Are we, are we in the Russian Revolution or is this choosing our, our formal ball gown or what? Like if we're going purely on color, I would probably go red. Ah, okay, yeah, Leeton, I haven't checked today's yet. I'm just talking about uh, last night. Because I was testing it last night. I have not been in the test of today. Oh, wine preference. I, um... I... I don't know. Which one is sweeter or, or wetter or whatever? Is it is it Red? I mean, death, I don't know, man. I drink, I drink Post Family. It's a $10 bottle of wine. I mean, Dragnos, that's not the worst takeaway. All right, we sold some barrel. Maybe we could give the kid the five mil. Wait, Dragnos, what is what is Boone's farm? Is that a is that a wine? Or is that some sort of like streamer sponsor thing, like Nord VPN? <laughs> I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? I I am. Oh well. Ah, uh, how cheap are we talking? I mean, post family is pretty cheap, but I like it. Oh God, like Mad Dog. <laughs> Okay, enough said. Enough said. Oh, I love that Zoomers are uh, rediscovering Mad Dog now. Like all these kids are finding out about Mad Dog 2020. It's like, ah. Uh, the hangovers of youth. You know what? We'll give him two mil. We'll give him two mil. We will pay him two million dollars to not ask people. Ah, yogurt has gone up a little bit. Inflation and all that. Ah, yes, malt liquor. I mean, dropped, it might be in the range of like $5 now. Approaching next station. Oh, have you, Akron? Ah, well. Oh, biker gold's still worth it. High risk, high reward. Although, 
getting it is still hard. Nice, Brian. What's it like out that way? A friendly reminder to check for your personal belongings before and after all shuttle flights and to dispose of any trash at appropriate... Should, uh, should take pictures and show us one day. And Mobutu, I'm sure. I didn't go to my prom. I spent prom night driving up and down the strip in Hot Springs. And, uh, my 65 Mustang. Thinking I was cool. And then I somehow wound up at an art gallery. Well, wow, Mabutsu Alley slid him two mil. So he still needs three, and he might not even realize that he got it. That'll be gross. Why gross? And what do you mean, death? You think I'm less cool now? Because I'm going to tell you, you're absolutely right. And I wasn't even that cool to begin with. You see, Mabutsu, I went to another prom for this girl that I was dating. And, uh, it was on a boat. And unfortunately, this was about the time the song I'm on a boat came out. So every idiot kid just was just shouting, I'm on a boat. And laughing because back in the day, we didn't have memes. So we just had to recite things like, all right, all you kids out there, you, you, you younger kids. There was a time before memes and what people did is they basically just sat around and quoted Anchorman and Dave Chappelle and uh you know andy sandberg stuff at each other and laughed and then eventually we got memes and we didn't have to hear people's crappy impersonations anymore anyway the prom got uh canceled halfway through because while we were on the boat there was a tornado and uh it was one of those paddle boats so it took forever to get back to port and i was enjoying myself but they had everyone bunkered down along like the the lowest deck it was it was great oh yeah and richard pryor although by the time i went through school he uh he wasn't he was quoted a lot Well, Death, I don't have a 65 Mustang anymore. And it wasn't in the best of shape. My dad set it on fire once. Ooh, Akron, have fun. I do like mini golf. Biker, I've never been swatted. I've never seen someone get swatted. Thank you. And please visit uh, we see Death. When I was 14, he bought this Mustang. And he told me that it would be my first car. But he did the thing where he bought it for me, but it was really for him. And by the time I was old enough to drive it, he... Listen, 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 dude. My dad wrecked every single vehicle he ever owned. Some of them multiple times. 
And somehow, while driving, he set the Mustang on fire. And this was after the prom, but still. And, like, once it was finally mine, it was so ragged out and had so many engine issues that it was just cheaper to eventually let go of it. Now, I've never been swatted, but I did get to go with the police on a, on a raid with SWAT when I was back in school, which was very irresponsible of them. Now, Raven, I didn't get internet until I was, like, 12. Like, it existed. I was just poor. Yeah, Death, like, he sank a boat, dude. He was a park ranger. Like, how, how, how are you how are you gonna sink a boat when you're a park ranger? He got clotheslined by a semi truck while on a motorcycle. Like it pulled out and he hit the he hit the trailer and the motorcycle kept going, but he didn't. He kinda he kinda looney tunes it. I don't know if he was better on land than on water. Ooh, AJ. Welcome back. Yeah, see, Biker, like, I've thought about calling the cops and being like, hey, what if anybody ever calls in, like, a SWAT thing to this address? I want you to know that you might want to double check it. I mean, Raymond, it was on a lake. It was uh, Lake Catherine, actually. But yeah, no, like he wrecked every single vehicle he ever had. Ah, I always forget how far we have to go for Orza. Ooh, yogurt. Did he make it out of that one? And Death, you were probably already a better parent. Like, he was a fun guy. But he used to drink and drive, and when I would get upset as a kid, he would chug the beer. That way he was no longer drinking and driving, since it had already been drunk. So, you know. Probably, you probably already have some better qualifications there. What is it, 95? Do we need to go to 95? Is it 100? My god, it is. Ooh, Brian. Brian, that's why you, uh, you put it to a trust or, you know, stipulations that, like, if you don't die of natural causes, then he, he doesn't get it. Or make him have to turn 30 to get it. Yeah, I'm a Butu. I think I'll pass on it for now. You know, Brian, that's what my dad did. In fact, he lost me in a construction site like that. He had two pitchers of beer at the bowling alley and some BC powder. And, uh... Why am I losing? Oh, my God. I keep losing my cruise control. Anyway, long story short, he abandoned me and my sister in a construction site at 2 in the morning. And, uh... Forgot he had kids. Well, he remembered he had kids, but he couldn't remember what their names were or where they were. And, uh... 
That was a that was a very interesting night. Yeah, mother fig, BC powder. It's like a, a headache medicine, but it's in powder form. And you roll it up in a paper and then like basically eat it. It looks like cocaine. But it's it's not. Although knowing my dad. What's that, BC powder? Eh, probably was. Wait, can we not jump because it's just low horizon? See, Death, you're right, but I don't think he had cocaine energy. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. It's just the horizon. Like he didn't he didn't have that cocaine energy. Yeah, that's it. I mean you know, Mozart, but what about BC powder mixed with lots of alcohol? Because he, he did, he did drink a lot. Yeah, now what Stout says is true. BC powder will dry your mouth out. Well, Motar, assuming that it was BC powder, you might be right. You might be right. You know, moving to I, I don't, I don't know. Cause I never watched him take it. I never took it. I just knew that he would like shotgun a beer with it. AJ, what in the world is stop? Stop. Salisam. That word. Salisamide. Gotcha. Although, give me one second. While we're in Quantum, I'm going to go refill my water cup. I'll be right back because I am thirsty.
All right, we're back. And just in time. Oh, Brian, that's fair, man. It'd probably have to be posted to Discord. I'm sorry about that. You know what? We might try one more RMC. Why not, you know? I mean, Muzz, that might just be YouTube. YouTube likes to do that. Well, according to mine, looks like actually everything's running okay. Oh, AJ, why would I do that to the server? Although we could try to help out this Genin fellow. Brian, I have. Um, not all the features are in yet. We're still waiting for cargo elevators to hit Ivakati. So I've only got to play around with like the character creator. Uh, some of the flight model for master modes and uh, one or two other things. So the main thing that I'm work or waiting for, the cargo is not in yet. Yes, yes, AJ. Yes, I did. We did that last Friday. Do you still need it? See, Wolf, that's the case. Brian, the moment that we get a hold of the cargo stuff, I will tell you all about it. And, uh, Damon, I have a lot more than I should. Caterpillar. Zeus CL. MSR that I never use, C2, a Cutlass, Corsair, <coughs> um, no, we're curious, although I have been touching a lot more grass than I've meant to. Oh, AJ. Good luck, man. I used to work at Michael's for a little bit. And they still owe me a $50 paycheck. See, Damon, a lot of my list is kind of a, a hodgepodge because a bunch of the ships on there are either bonus things from referrals, accidental loaners that are still on there, or things that Due to streamer privilege, CIG has given me temporary access to. Now the caterpillar. Caterpillar is real. I got a pirate caterpillar and a best in show caterpillar. And I don't need both, but it's just so hard to give up a caterpillar. They're so nice. And also, not to mention that my uh my pirate caterpillar is LTI. Which LTI does not matter. It's just bragging rights. But man, oh man. You had to be back in the day to get an LTI cat or pirate caterpillar. I mean, AJ, worst comes to worst. You can always threaten the labor board. They're pretty toothless, but they make a nice threat. Yeah, that's it, AJ. That's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, gold. Oh yeah, Brian, I remember that. Uh, King Cruller, right now we're going to Pickers Field for some RMC. If we're lucky, we'll sell it for uh, one million and some change. If we're lucky. We're at Pickers Field on Hurston. There we go. Parking here in a caterpillar sucks. Not because there's no parking. There's plenty of parking. It's parking to actually get your, uh, your lift where you can actually get back on it. Parking for that is awful. Ooh, death. Good luck with the meetings. Yeah, that should be. All right, one final scan. Those are behind me, aren't they? Okay. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Gold, are you going to Chicago by chance? I may have already asked you. Marcus, I have not. Tell us more. I mean, David, I think that's a fine fleet right there. Like, the C2 is excellent. That's all your cargo. And the 400i is such a great runabout ship. Like, is it really useful for anything? No, but you find yourself doing so much in it. Yeah, AJ. The view is what I enjoy the most. Ah, uh, Gull, that's fair. That's fair. Alright, let's see if I get shot. Nobody shot. Oh, gold. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you, man. I would love to go, but after tires, I don't think I will be going. And it's also a lot of money to like hang out for one night, you know? Six three one eight. Yeah, Marcus. Although you'll have to do it in uh, in Discord, and then I can copy paste the link, so other folks can hear it. Because if you link it right here, well, uh, you know what it'll do. But yeah, uh, if you drop it in Discord, I'll copy paste it for you. AJ! <laughs> hey, oh, that was funny. That was funny. Fortunately, you know, Texarkana is not far from Malvern. I just got the ride back up later in the day. How did you, Brian? I'll tell you what, let me... Let me make it to Quantum. I'll take a look. I want to get the heck out of Dodge. Not even a naughty one. Well, I'll still look. Yeah, Marcus. Stream chat or general. Doesn't matter. 
as long as I can get to it. Let's see, we're on dark side. No blips. Ah, music drops. That that makes sense. That makes sense. That is literally a spot for uh, for music, isn't it? All right. Here, I'll copy paste it here for you. That way, everybody can see it without having to be in the Discord. And Brian, let me uh, let me hightail it to Quantum. Because I've got over six million in the cargo hold, and I don't, I don't want to lose it. I shave every second off that I can. Yeah, AJ, good luck with it. All right, let's boogie. Now I can look at this. Oh my god, Brian! I mean, AJ, I guess you're right. Like, I want to pressure anybody, because I am in like... God, I'm in like 50 plus discords now. It's a headache to try to keep up with more than three. But ours is, ours is pretty sleepy. Like, you could leave it for a couple of days and catch up on everything in a few minutes. Brian, this is nice, man. What is this? Like a converted passenger car? Because it is, like... Just looking at the, the, the ceiling, it is beautiful. And that monitor setup is... Huge! Dude has... Hold on, hold on. Twelve monitors. A 12 monitor setup. Yeah, Raven. If I don't see you today, man, have a good one. Nineteen fifties. You don't you don't have more pictures of the uh the interior, do you? We dog leg it over to Art Corp. Yeah, that is, that is so nice. Like the monitor setup is is super tight. I'm just looking at the rest of that car too. And Rod, I don't know. I might. I'm not holding out a lot of hope for it. And honestly, I might just end up playing more Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer on N64. I want to have a little bit of hope for it for Fallout, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, yes. 
Brian with the clutch save. Oh, these are wonderful. Brian, you uh, you looking for coworkers by chance? You guys, you guys hiring for uh, for uh, for for work? I like the signs. the uh, The toaster oven is a nice touch. That is absolutely beautiful, man. Sorry, I know you guys can't see what I'm seeing. Brian sent me uh, pictures of the uh, car interior. Brian, no worries. Like, you know, don't don't do it for my benefit. Hey, Wobbly. Good to see you, man. Even if it's only for a minute. Good to see you. There you are. Another thing about 323. Your uh your ping, this little scan right here. For the moment, again, for the moment. Doesn't exist. Like it still scans, but there's no visual, so you can't use it as, as night vision. It might come back, but for now. It's uh not there. Yeah, like, now again, they've had that in previous patches, and then it came back before live. So, I don't know if that's an intended feature, or if that's just an iteration. Yeah, gee, I haven't got to listen to it yet, so, like, if it's all, you know, awful, terrible things, uh, content-wise, not skill-wise, then, you know, I apologize. And Marcus has pulled one over on me, but... Uh, I doubt it is. I doubt it's. I doubt it's. Uh, I doubt it's bad. I bet it's pretty fun. I just ain't got to listen to it yet. Safe 
Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Landing gear down. Ah, oh, welcome back, Phaedrus. Not much. Uh, we were talking about how alcoholism destroys families. Um, the Fallout show. We picked up some RMC. Yeah, Motherfig got dressed. Um, you can't see it, but Brian linked me some pictures of his, uh, his office, which is an old rail carriage from the 50s. They ride on the rails back and forth to make sure the rails are, you know, good for freight and whatnot. Oh, AJ, good luck with that callback, man. Oh, Phaedrus, I'm sorry. Well, Sarone, it's going to get easier. 323, okay. 323 has updated Area 18 with uh, lights. Like, they've actually made it where the marker is correct. There is a series of guiding lights into Area 18. Like, I, I cannot show you until, you know, it goes to wave one, but you will have to be legally blind to not find Area 18 and 323. They are making it so much better in terms of uh, lighting and being able to tell where the spaceport is. Like, you can follow them from orbit. That's, that's, that's how big the changes are. Oh, it's not the splines, Phaedrus. It's actually like floating lights. And you can see them from afar. Orzen, I've got no clue on. I have not been to Orzen yet in 323. Ooh, Brian. That is a swanky house in Arkansas. Nice, AJ. And Phaedrus, you may have told me, and I just didn't get to see it, but uh, you're not happening to, uh, you're not going to the Bar Citizen in Chicago on the 20th, are you? Oh, gee. Good old Jita. Mother Fig, I'm glad that we all know about the keyword there being, being, you know, should. Phaedrus, no vacations. No vacations. Gotta have some time off. Oh god, the all caps. AJ, it's a few, it's a few thousand.
Nice, Sarone. Yeah, gold, I didn't play a lot. Like, I played a bit. But I just really wanted to be able to, you know, fly, fly my ship. Ah, yes, Sarone. Yeah, you can land on a large pad. It's very tricky sometimes. But yeah. I mean... That's it, G. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not Omega. Yep, not, not those guys. Alright, actually, I want to see something right quick. Let's see. One, seven, three, four. Okay. Just wanted to make sure we were still making, uh, you know, 1.4 million. On each run. All right, we got one. We got we got enough time for one more run. Do we sneak out with some more RMC? Do we run gold? Yeah, C, G, I bought Eve back when I was still a teenager. Only to find out that it was online only. And uh, I could not run it on my dial-up. Gold! So uh, that's two requests for gold. We could try getting out with some gold. I mean, AJ, that's not bad. For hand salvage, you know. I mean, Eve, when I finally got to, to play it, you know, there was a lot of stuff to it. It just killed me having to do the point and click fly. That was, was always my issue. Now arriving. <laughs> oh, gold. See, mother fig, I'm not going to do that. There's a difference between tempting fate and just asking for it. I mean, yes, Lodix, Eve Online, yeah. It's just, 
you know, whenever I tell people I play Yuri's Revenge, I usually just go Yuri's Revenge instead of Command and Conquer Red Alert to Yuri's Revenge. Although there's really no point in taking a caterpillar. Because they're not going to have a lot of gold in stock. Should we give him the final two mil that he needs? No mother fig. No, that's a lot of no's. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. I don't need money. Now, Lodix, I'm there with you. When you got to really work for it, like, you can really appreciate it. At the same time, Star Citizen has a really nasty habit of kicking you in the balls. Besides, if I give him the, the two million in in-game money, Maybe someone will give me the 2.5 million to buy that mansion with the air hockey table in the in the basement. That's how that works, right? That's how, yeah. His karma works on a series of mechanical checks and balances. Definitely like uh, D&D. &D. Yes. Yes, that's exactly how that works. Yeah, mother fig, that's it. Uh-oh. He might have too much money now. I think both of us just gave him money. Ah, gold, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you. Please visit again. I roll a lot of ones. Speaking of, I think I've got D&D &D this weekend. That's right, AJ. He can hire a crew now. Stimulates the economy, helps other people get into their own reclaimers. A C2. Oh, he's taking off. I wonder where he could be headed. Ooh, another C2. You know, I bet that C2 is full of RMC. I mean, mother fig, I feel like we're all a little bit jaded.
Oh, a foreign K hasn't sent into it yet. Then, uh... Then at least one of us gets to save our money. Ooh, Phaedrus. A gym pun. One gold run. And then that's probably going to be me for the day. That's right, Phaedrus. Look, it's her own. Well, Damon, we'll see what happens. We might we might get hit. Although I doubt it. If no one's camping out for RMC, I doubt they're gonna camp for gold. Sarone, if I had a little bit more time, I would, uh, I'd help crew your reclaimer, unless you like doing it solo. I mean, gold, that's not, that's not the worst idea. And yeah, Saron, they like to do that. Uh, I don't know if you'll still be there on my way back, but if you're still trying to mess with it, I could always try to get you out. <laughs> it's fine, man.
Yeah, med pin's probably the easier way to go. I had an issue at Grim Hacks the other day where I couldn't check into the hospital. The screens were borked. That guy's paying a lot of money for a helmet. A lot of money for a helmet. Always a ship at SMO 18. Oh, Sarone. Yeah, tell us more. What, uh, what is it? I got an email for Bitcraft the other day. I totally forgot about that. For an invite to, uh, close beta. Take a look at that. Oh, is it AJ? Ooh. Speaking of ooh. Who could that be? Saron, so what's uh what's thrown in Liberty? an RTS I wanted to check out called Dino Lords where Ward. don't like it but eh, we'll risk it for the biscuit anyway it's like the Norse have dinosaurs and invade England like it's an RTS So I'm like, what's the, uh, what's the style of it? A carrot, huh? Hmm. I bet all these guys are going to be on the pads. I'm not going to be able to get fuel, so I'll have to go buy Tressler first. Or Michael 1. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's Labriscus. Fancy seeing him here. The last time I was here, I ran into Labriscus. There were pirates. Ah, uh, fantasy MMO. You know, I do miss those. Did 
doubt I'm going to be able to get fuel because of that Pisces. I could try pushing it off the path. Would that work? Hey, hey, hey! And just to be safe. Not bad. Right. Although we're going to rotate slightly so I can still get into my ship. Here we go. Much better. Nice, Saron. You know I miss doing an MMO, I say, while playing Star Citizen. Um, I do miss playing them. It's just a lot of the time commitment on them. And I have... Oh, man. I guess we're waiting. I have unfortunately been touching a lot more grass than I am used to. Spending a lot less time on the computer. Hi there. Which is a good thing, I know. Yeah, Saron. It feels like... Does it kind of feel like MMOs have petered off? Like, everything is more... MOBA or Overwatch style instead of an actual traditional MMO. You think there's anything in that carrot? Like, I tried playing that one Korean MMO that came out a little while back. Actually, I streamed it. It was... Oh, I forget the name of it. And admittedly, I didn't have a lot of fun with it. Ah, Nakunox, I'm sorry. I do actually play Helldivers quite regularly, Nakunox. The problem is, on Steam, I keep myself permanently offline. Welcome to the Aesop oh, somebody. Please, well, please visit us again. Did that Karak just boogie? It did. There was somebody in it the whole time. The Aesop vehicle retrieval system. But anyway, I keep myself offline because if I go online, I get kind of anxious by the bombardment of like invites or messages because like I'll just be trying to play something and like I'll get an invite or a message or whatever and I just feel bad having to turn people down like, oh, well, I'm just playing with, you know, another friend. So I just find it easiest to, you know stay signed out or you know be online but invisible because it's like 
I want to be able to play with other people, you know, but on my own terms. And I don't want to uh, disappoint anybody. Because my friends list on Steam is still long. Oh, yeah, Lonix. But I don't want to ignore people either, you know? Gold, you figured it out. This was all my, my ploy as a money-making scheme. Soulless. Nixon hasn't jumped. There he goes. Go jump. Get out of here. Get, get. I mean, Lonix, I do that on Discord, but I'm bad enough about Discord messages. Steam? I'd probably never actually respond. Okay, he's still jumping. He's just... Okay. Actually, yeah, if he's still got that comma in there, acne or whatever. See if we have any gold now. That's it, AJ. Sometimes I see your names and I go, ugh, it's that person. Oh no. And I was having such a good day until I saw Jiggy Two Snipes. You think I come here because I enjoy you? I enjoy your camaraderie? No. It's all a money-making scheme. People give me dollars and I go, <laughs> Yes, that's... Oh, an apple. Aha! Anyway, it's a money-making scheme. Yes. Sorry, I think the apple kind of broke my, my bit there. Oh, look at that. It's got hydration properties. I mean, you know, AJ, you joke, but I did kind of scuff off on the last two days. But in my defense, I was playing episode one pod racer. And, uh, and then yesterday I had to install some appliances. Yeah. Do we have, do we have stuff yet? Tw tw 20, 25. 25 SCU. All right. We're going to jump across the entire verse. For really 24 SCU. I'm not going to be able to buy 25. It'll be 24. <sighs> Cover up my ugly mug. But I did unlock Neva Key. He's my favorite guy. Hey, Neptune. Neptune, if you and your mates are operating around Microtech, I'm going to tell you, I only got 24 SCU of gold. Like, it's easier just to pay folks off. I mean, honestly, I'm not even worried about the gold. I'll just give it up willingly. Shoot, I'll help you move it. 24 SCU. You see, Knock and Ox, this nice guy persona. 
is all cleverly crafted to maximize money. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes. That's why I have Patreons and things and show up regularly to stream. <laughs> oh, I don't have the org anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I don't know if you're still looking to do piracy or not, but I can recommend a couple of other pirate orgs. Or if you're just running solo, that's also very respectable. Man, we are we are trucking it at 70 meters per second. Oh, nice Neptune. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. The spirit, okay. I'm not super worried. There we go. You know what? We'll probably just go ahead and complete that jump to Mike L2. Not the station, but... Sadly, Mother Fig, no. No fist fights. Like, we saw two people on our excursion to SMO 18. Unfortunately, nobody felt like a scuffle. I mean, the cargo's not really worth fighting over. It's 24 SCU of gold. So we're not exactly, it's not exactly high risk. I mean, if somebody wants it, I will literally just hand it over to them.
you know, One Punch, you're right. When I was a kid, I came across a bumper sticker that said democracy is for people that don't know how to fight. So I guess when you don't have any sort of, you know, government mandate, you can just punch people and take what you want. Now, you know, ethically, is that good? No, not at all. Oh man, AJ, I would, I would, I would take some Helldivers merch. Why, you got some? Oh, oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. Now I'm with you, AJ. Yeah, no. I mean, I feel like in Helldivers, democracy is specifically for people that know how to fight. Like, that seems the most democratic thing. The only thing I don't like about Helldivers is that the melee is weak. And, I mean, while it's, it makes sense, realistically. It, uh, I just really want to be able to punch an automaton as hard as I can. I'm sorry, hold on, Stacks, what? Are we, what? Are you gonna make me stay on longer? I'm gonna need a link to that. Uh, you guys are going to make me do this, aren't you? Hold on. Hold on. It's in the launcher. All right, let me confirm. I need to see it with my own eyes. Wave one. All right, screw it. Let's do it. Goodbye. Let's update it. That's PTU. You guys, you guys want to see some, uh, some 323? I can hang around for a little bit longer. It's a good thing it was only 24 SCU of gold, right? I'm updating PTU now. Is it, is it EPTU branch or PTU branch? Looks like EPTU branch. Yeah, you guys want to see the character customizer?
Thank you, Phaedrus. All right. It is updating now, and we will launch in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And done. Let's go. Uh, yeah, sure, AJ. Why not? Change the title so people know. I guess I changed that transition over too quickly. Oh, well. We'll just wait until, until it loads up. I guess I'll switch over to this until it finishes loading. All right. Cooler, it's wave one for everybody who's in wave one. All right, this is coming through, right? Yeah, it sure is. All right. You guys seeing this? Can you see it? I see it. I think it's coming through on OBS. Ah, it's fine, AJ. All right. All right. DNA. I, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, when I've been doing 323, I've been skipping this part entirely because I have no idea what to look like. I guess I, I go, let's see. I go right around there. Sunspots, aren't those in the sun? Aha, blending. Randomize all, randomize. I appreciate everything that this man has going on right here. How do we... Okay, that's just the forehead. Is there a way to select the entire... everything? Mabutu, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I don't really see that, uh, that changing. Can we just... Whoa! 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 Whoa. Okay. All right. So we can just click and drag. All right. And you know, we got to do the hair. Whoops. I messed up. That is the hair that I go for, right? Yeah, that's it. I think. That's that's the hair. And then eye color. I could have got this whole range. Now I'm not gonna make anything particularly pretty, and I hope you all realize that, because I'm basically going to click and drag various things. Come on, let me. Oh, we're going to go Oblivion character creator here. I need a long face. I'm going to be able to walk into a bar and a guy be like, hey, why the long face? Hey, 
There we go. All right. Now for our beard. What do we got? What do we got? All right. So we can go clean shaven. <laughs> well, Mabutu, I don't know. We've got these nice mutton chops. Actually, I kind of like the mutton chops with the... Res I feel like they fixed the hairline. It used to be a lot more receding. I feel like this guy works on, like, air traffic control. Oh, oh, we have so many more options. All right, all right. Good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad this is making a comeback. Stone cold. Oh, yes. Yeah, like, where is it? Where is it? I feel like this is what you would see on a guy who would be the mascot for, like, frozen, or frozen fish sticks. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, wait, wait. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, they get, oh, they get longer. Oh, they get so much longer. Wow, they they said we were not going to uh we're not gonna have any thin stashes, no pencil stashes, no just now coming in. No, these are these are fully grown. Like this is facial hair with with a with a fixed mailing address. Hey, plane. Alright, alright. I think we're gonna go chops. Maybe, is there a way that I can make the hairline more receding? Like, I feel like that's too much hair for what I really want to go with. Ah, whatever. We'll make it work. It is plain. Wave 1, 323. Hey, you guys remember when I said I had a hunch that it's going to be really soon? That was cool, right? Hold on. Why are these eyebrows purple? And ooh, oof. I need the most furious eyebrows. That's That's probably it right there. I'm going to assume that red texture is, uh, ah, okay. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can give yourself roots? So like, let's say I was going to a rave. I don't know if that dye part is working correctly. Well, we're not going to die it anyway. There we go. Get get out of my hair. A little bit of gray. Okay, I guess a lot of bit of gray. Stacks, no idea. I don't even know if the cargo stuff has made it in yet. Oh, there's a gradient. Oh, well, maybe that's why it looked all weird. All right, so this is going to be our guy. Jack. How do I... How do I save it? Uh, Mother Fig, I think you can tint it. 
Okay, how do I how do I save you? Export. Did that Oh, okay, here we go. We save that. I think that went through. Ah, thank you, Fen. And we're going to start off at Area 18. Actually, you know, you know what? Before we do, let's just make sure we got our guy. Let's just make sure, you know, that it's... That is definitely our guy. And... Did that, did that not... Oh, wait. Features. I didn't even check. Features. Oh, yes. Gotta have those soft, kissable lips, right? Cheeks. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, now we're a fish. Okay, maybe, maybe not on the cheeks. I do like that we have an undo option now. Uh huh? I might, I might not be getting that correctly. Whatever. We'll go back to it later. I want to see if cargo has actually been changed yet. I'm a boot too. Maybe I want to look pretty. Maybe I want to learn how to contour and do foundation. Have a more defined jawline. You know, I am so hungry. I was about to go get some food and then they dropped this on me. And Neptune it is. Yeah, Lyle, probably not. But we're going to find out. It is Luca. Oh my god, I feel so fast with no armor on. You guys like that radar in the top left? I do like the new notification system. Oh, Brad, there's some down here, too. Also, Brad, how are you going to get a check mark? What is that? What does it even mean? I want a check mark. Yeah, I know there's an item bank down, uh, down this way. In fact, unless I have to get it from my... Nope, there we go. Oh, oh, God, that's bright. Oh, God, that's bright. Really, Brad? Hmm. I might have to compromise myself then. I, uh... Ooh, that's, that's, that's real bright. Oh, motherfucker. Thank you, Mother Fig. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. Let's 
seriously, man. Thank you. And we're gonna rock with that arm armor for now. Oh, can you, Angel? Well, I didn't know we had someone famous with us today. Uh, one day. Realistically, I'll probably end up going back to a real job. But until now, I'll have fun. All right. So we still have access to the local in here, although I see my helmet. Really, Brad? Oh, lucky. Lucky, lucky. No, I get that. I, I feel that. Oh, God. Now I can actually see how many helmets I really own. Did I lose my Oni helmet? Did I? Oh well. I don't have to match. I would like to, AJ. I would really like to. Whoa. Oh right, Luca. You guys want to see the new Moby glass? Let me let me get off the train. Now arriving. Let me get off the train. Ah, oh, Finn, you should have. Hey, Brandy. Good to see you. Oh, not bad. Contemplating if I want to try to shoot for, uh, for the Bar Citizen on April 20th in Chicago. Doubt I'm going to be able to go, but trying to see if I can cobble something together. Testing out having mutton chops in 323. All right, Moby Glass, one, two, three, and... Aha! So our lungs are safe. There's atmosphere. Fresh is good. Temperature's good. No radiation. Things look really good on here. No rep yet. See, DBT, I want to, dude. It's just expansive. I had to put tires on my car. That sent me back 500. That's right, Chico. Wave one. And maps, all right. So we got our local area, which is really nice. You guys ready? And Finn, sadly, my wave one list is greatly expanded compared to what I actually have. Although, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I've spent way more on ships than I ever should have. Yeah, mother fig, I've seen the mini map. We're just checking out this map. So, so check this out. Let's say we want to go to, I don't know, Orizon. Look at that. Orizon. Bam. You can just type it in. Tells you what all they got. A little bit about it. And when you're in an actual ship, you can just route to it. Let's say I want to go to Pickers Field. Oh, look at there. Oh, Pickers Field. I want to go to Jump Town. Oh, hold on. Hold on. How gentrified is Jump Town now that it's actually listed on, on Space Yelp? Like, I can't just type in my... I can't type in my plug to Google Maps and have it take me to, like, a dealer's house. Yeah, Farley, I don't I don't like that part. Like with this whole lean. 
Ooh, contracts. Yeah, let's see if Benny Henge is in there. Although I wish there was like a button to, to zoom out. Like there probably is, I just don't know what it is yet. Ooh, no Benny Henge. I mean, Lonix, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, the tilt is weird. Oh, these are nice. Ooh, no details, but expensive. Nice. Search. Ah, uh, one of those. Okay. I was hoping we had the new mission in. Yeah, Phaedrus, I am too. All right, asset. You guys want to go, uh, you guys want to go do something? You guys want to go see master modes? <laughs> Mobutu, not yet. I don't think any of the new cargo stuff is in yet. You know, Brad, that's a good question. Let's find out. Now that, you know, we've, we've got them right here. Right, Pete. Right. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yeah. All right, so I assume that that's is what is on me. I do like this setup. Makes it a little bit easier to see how much ammo is in each magazine. But as far as searching goes, like if you just use this setup, why am I, why am I helmet this again? And bald, why am I so bald? I've got to have my helmet on. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure that I am using this correctly. Yeah, the reloading from backpack. Yeah, because like, okay, send a platform, select all, send to warehouse. Okay, so this UI has some issues. A lot of issues. A, a lot. A lot of issues. Um, but, you know, try them out when we come to it. You guys want to go hunt some dogs? When I'm going to assume I've got a helmet on. I could probably use some ammo too, but we'll uh, we'll pick that up later. Cruller, I don't think hangers are here yet. I think we're still waiting on hangers. Because uh Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Oh, the list is bigger. Oh, the list is much. No, no, that's actually comparable to live. I could have swore I bought a 400... Well, I bought it with in-game money, so it's probably not here. Tell you what, how about we go take a cutlass to go track some animals down. Vehicle 
vehicles your vehicle has been delivered to the following uh not on my list mabutu i mean i don't even own most of those in the list a lot of them are either loners or some other thing i've already forgotten hangar six okay But Brad, it's already got a paint. It's got the best paint on it. Yeah, but mother fig, I'm, I'm wearing a helmet. I just, um, you know, there's an episode of Transformers season three where uh, Galvatron goes to a planet full of monkey psychologists. It's like if Planet of the Apes and Frasier were mixed together. Anyway, there is a patient on the planet who has three heads who keeps shouting, I have no head. Uh, Stax, it is. So, the chat gets very wonky. It still has some issues where it'll move up and down James not yet and it's also wave one so it might not be copying everything over all right Where in the world is my altimeter on the cutlass? Yeah, Fen. And AJ, I don't know. Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to click and drag. And uh, I'm not getting anything. So it looks like it's stuck there. Oh, I do not like that head movement. That's going to have to get turned off. All right. I think I've got sticky throttle on. So it might be semi-maintaining my cruise control. So this is our top speed at SCM. But now, if we want to stop looking so low. We're going to go to nav mode. As you can see, we're losing shield. And once that's full, then we can go high speed. Sarone, you should, uh, you should post it and show it to us because I cannot make good characters. Actually, I could probably just go ahead and, uh... Is that not gonna... Oh, it's giving me the ship. Oh, it has to be an actual part of Microtech, not just the... No, there we go. Okay. I wonder why they didn't, uh... What do you mean, routing not available? All right, what did I do? How did I mess it up? Hey, pins. I wonder. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just had to clear the uh, the way. Yeah, it's Silas. I mean, it was specifically made to stop people from jousting. Here we go. Let's go see if we can find a critter. And then we'll check for freight elevators, which I doubt they are in, but we will go check.
Yeah, sure thing, AJ. Inkling, I do not believe so. Tell you what, Inkling. We might make a pit stop by Hurston. On the, uh... On the way. There's got to be a... Set of keys for the Moby Glass map. Because the thing is... It'll say that there's a distribution center. But the last few times I've shown up to them, there hasn't been. Like Edmund, they say they've got a freight elevator. Why Why can't I route? There we go. Tell you what, we're going to swing by Edmund right quick. Blakey, not that I've seen. Oh, Silas, really? I think I've got an update ready. Whoopsie doodle. Stax, I have no idea what GM is. I'm gonna go with, uh... Gigameters. Yeah. Gigameters. Where would this be? Oh, yeah. FSR, DLSS. Hey, Gustav! Man, like, trade would actually have to have some meaningful changes. That's my big issue. Like, I need to, uh, to have a thing where basically things shift and change by each week. Instead of the current ultra-static format that we have, where it's just... You know. Well, raw and RMC, if you've got friends, gold, then barrel. And you can pretty much follow that for months. Wait, hold on. It actually is gigameters? Oh, man. It's not nearly as fun when I'm right. Well, you know, Brandy, we could we could try to do that now, actually. The 400i would be really good for that. Oh, dang it. I hit the B button. This is what I'm talking about. You have to wait for it to go to SCM. Now I have to go back to NAV. Yeah, Sarone, I had issues with it. So, Neptune, we're going to go see if the, uh, the freight elevators are in. I haven't heard about them being in. I feel like they would have been in the patch notes, but you know, a boy can dream. Ah, uh, crueler, it'll probably be a month. It's gonna be May. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call May. Probably right before Invictus and whoa. Um, so I have no controls. Might either be in a 30k or a... There we go. Now here's the annoying thing. Where was I going? Ed there we go. Also, all locations are in all these circles for the icons. They're no longer all specialified.
Oh, my graphics card is struggling for this water. In fact, let's check out this water. Welcome back, Raymond. We're in 323. Oh, the chat's getting angry. Oh, Flaky, I might be my settings. I think I've got my clouds turned either off or low. Finn, I'm on a 3080 Ti. Although, I'm learning that they told people to upgrade their or update their graphics drivers before getting into PTU. And uh, I haven't done that. So... That might be that might be a reason why. Well, Raymond, I asked CIG really nicely and they they had 323 Go to uh, go to wave one. Yeah, that's how that goes. Ah, oh, right. Landing gear forces you to thirty meters per second. Yeah, no, the altimeter is is right here. The altimeter is behind this. It's super annoying. They're gonna have to fix that before this goes live. So, I don't know if you're looking, but uh, this location, which supposedly has a freight elevator, uh, it doesn't really seem to have anything new to it. So we're going to go buy some cargo to take with us just to, you know, say we, we, we did it, we tried. So, Silas, dropping your landing gear reduces you to 30 meters per second. Oh, James. Oh, God. My shaders, not my shaders. Why can I not exit my seat? There we go. Server performance might be having a couple of issues. Oh, Fedris isn't too far away. Oh, Raymond, we don't have to get into what my character looks like. In fact, I don't even know if I have a head. So, Fedris, this is what my character currently... Here. Currently looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do the best job. I just... Listen, I, I had to I had to try. I'm gonna make the forehead a little bit more bulbous later on. Because I need the receding hairline to actually be receding. Like this is this is like stage 0.5 starting out receding hairline. Muzz, I actually thought about it. I was gonna put on some uh some of the makeup, but it was too blue. I didn't feel like messing around with it. You know, Finn, I'll take that. I didn't mind Zhao. He does look a little bored. <laughs> Pressurizing. And yeah, Potato, the, the marker thing is very annoying because it's like, oh, where's the city? I don't know. Like, it's very difficult to suss out where I'm trying to go without using the map. Uh, I mean, fields, it slows you down basically like hard braking. Nope, let me inside you. Come on.
Fine, I guess we'll just open. O open? Please? Oh, actually, it might it might be having a time. Whoa! 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 Okay, yeah, we're having a time. All right, so hit open. Give it a minute. Hit open. Hit loot. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting. Wave one. Nothing good. Two forty-seven. I forget. Does aluminum go for two forty-seven? Uh, these prices look the same. So yeah, I don't think we've had any sort of meaningful cargo adjustment yet. Tell you what, we'll buy. Nope. By 4 SCU of aluminum. And that seems to be the exact same process we've had previously. So yeah. No cargo changes yet. I mean, potato? I don't think so. Because both failed to work for me. And yeah, Inkling. It's going to be... It's still going to be a minute. Like, this is wave one. And we are not feature complete anywhere. You know, Silas, that's not a bad idea. We could try the drink container. Although I do hate waiting on that, uh... Come on! Come on! Correct, Inkling. Wave 1 PTU. You know, Artex, I was expecting to see it on Friday. So I was talking earlier. Oh, that's right. Let me control. Lay down. So if we loot. Uh, okay. Not working. If we open. Still kind of not working. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, no differences, Potato, because it turns out both of them cease to function. Uh, well, Potato, Potato, uh, V is my interaction. For you, it'd be F. I changed mine to V. So, if you see V, don't worry about that. That's my custom keybind. You see, Potato, I come from the old, old Star Citizen keybinds, where F was my down straight. But when they changed it to F being interact, when they actually had the interact system, I could not abide that. So, I'm still going off the old 2.0 keybinds for Star Citizen. So I just made V my interact. So no worries, your interact will be F. Mine is just V. Well, Muzz, upstrafe used to be R. It was R and F. And that's what I keep it at. Hey, we got the new boxes, though. Check that out. Check that out. Hold on. This is... Hold on. This is... Oh, this is... Oh, this is nice. Hold on, this is really nice. You see, Brad, I come from a time before the F. That is nice. Look at that. That's a nice box right there. Does it actually tell you what's inside it anywhere? Uh, Potato, this is two SCU. They go all the way up to 32. There's two, or one, two, four. Um, 
16 and 32. So these are two each. All right, so it doesn't tell me what's inside the box. Can I? Well, thank you for telling me that it's too heavy to pick up. That's that's nice. I don't have a way to open the box. Yeah, Raymond. Means it can, uh, you know, go on the cargo grid. Let's go buy some waste. Then we'll head to Microtech and see if we can find a, a dog. Did I hit the button? Did I not hit the button? Hold on. Hold on. That's a tractor beam. Hold on. Did they... Really? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me in. AJ, so probably we could access our cargo. Yeah, Lonix, the, the standard, like the regular black has a tractor beam, but it was mounted in a weird spot, like right on the, uh, the tail. Where is... I turn this on. Ah, no, come back. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you can. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Holy crap. I don't know if I can use it here, but you can see your entire cargo. You don't even have to get out of the seat. I I need to activate it still. How do I turn my? Ah, there we go. Yes, yes. Power on. Come on. I'm fighting server lag. I don't know if it'll let me activate it in, you know, Armistice. Okay. I don't think it'll let me activate it in Armistice or it might not be fully implemented. But I'm going to go buy more cargo. Then we're going to get out of an Armistice and, uh, and try it out. Like, yeah, no, Raymond, it is amazing. Come on, let me out. Yeah, Artex. They've been messing around with it. Ooh, servers are bad. Well, Mabutu, I think it's because we're in Armistice. And uh, they don't like tractor beams activating in Armistice. So, we're going to buy some waste, because I want to see what waste looks like. Fly just outside of Armistice. And, uh, you know, do some, uh, some things. That is if the servers will cooperate. I mean, Brad, why go back? Why ever go back? Yeah, AJ, no cargo elevators yet. We're gonna buy 16. 
Yeah, mother fig. I think, I mean, I might be wrong. It might just not be fully implemented yet. Yeah, deplorable. We're in 323. Fields, no distribution centers yet. We're all still waiting on those. So it's still partial implementation. Not all features are in. All right, all right. So waste is still the regular boxes, which, I mean, it's waste, it's fine. Artex, I have no idea. Like the rumor mill for Star Citizen is so constant. Come on. Activate. The server is getting absolutely hammered. So it's very difficult to, uh, things to work. All right. So we're going to slide out of Armistice. James, I don't think I can jump to Pyro. Pyro ain't in yet. There would be... Oh god, that's my headlights. Actually, we're gonna float to do this. What? You know, I've got something for this. That star citizen, baby. Oh, AJ, I'm dying too. Yeah, sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. AJ, I'm not even on the right planet. I sure am enjoying this black screen. Uh, mother fig, no idea. No idea. I mean, we can try again. I'll just buy cargo here. Uh, I'll have to reclaim my cutlass though and get the train back and... oh well whatever you know stakeopotamus I I don't know actually yeah I I died died But now I wonder about the caterpillar tractor beam. Um. Am I? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Raymond, I was I was parked in the air. I was doing zero. Man, I got some speed to me, though. Yeah, Muzz, they, they moved it back. So it's probably be a 323X patch. 
Wait, I have to move the caterpillar here to buy to it, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, that burns my biscuit. All right, we'll hop on the train, call a cat, call the codless, come back, then head back. Or I could do the same thing at Baijini. Yeah, let's move it to Baijini. I just hear Xeno threat. I also like how I have a radar while not wearing a suit. can get dressed while we wait. Now there. Now we look better. Well, Mobutu, I'll probably pick some up at, uh, by Genie. I'll take a fast mover up there. Set my respawn point. That way I don't have to get the train every time I... Oh, they haven't fixed that. Uh, Raymond about an hour, hour and a half ago. Stand clear. Like, it has not been long. I was literally on my way back to Art Corp to sell some gold. And then log for the day. And then this dropped. Uh, Artex, it's all the time. Even with a helmet off, I guess you go off your, your Moby glass. Chat is not working correctly, though. Ooh. Mabutu, I am so hungry. I am so hungry. Uh, James, tell me more. I don't think I've heard anything about them. But, like I said, I've been touching a lot more grass than usual. So I've missed a few things. Ah, right, Phaedrus. Contact. Uh, Potato, I think you can just fully F12 it. The map... Mm, I haven't seen anything about the map. Biker, I want one. By the time I finish up, though... I don't think they'll be, uh, they'll be open still. So I want you to know, Biker, that I am sacrificing a quesadilla from my favorite taco truck in Little Rock to, uh, to bring you 323. Hey, actually, tell you what, AJ, I'll take the C1 to Baijini, and that way we can see if the, uh, tractor beam has been changed. Come on. Come on. You can do it. And you're six. Want your company to be in good company? Our corp's unique... You got it, AJ. ...corporate parks offer amenities such as resource sharing and logistical pairing for our rental partners. Inquire today to learn how you can invest in making our yeah, Artex. I think it's doing all right. Like, it's, it's, oh, it's rough. We're in a very rough state, but, you know, every statue started out as a block of marble. All 
I mean, the server frame rate alone is just so painful. Oh, got you, James. Yeah, I have not seen those. I have not pulled a gun out yet, though. In fact, you know what? Just to be safe. Tell you what, James. I will attempt to uh, to pull a gun. While I'm in... Or outside of the... Uh, armistice area. Hey, Don Walk! Oh, thank you, biker. And, uh, AJ... AJ, you might end up becoming a little bit sad. Tell you what, tell you what, I'll, I'll, let me get in the co-pilot seat. And see where it is. Nah, Granulus, we're already in this for the money. How do we turn this thing? Was it... Come on. On, on. Where is that inter turret? Wasn't it like in a weird spot? Hey, Gears, it's, uh, it's, man, it's got some rough stuff and not everything is implemented. So it is to the right, huh? I'm just not coming across it. It is semi. And I'm struggling a little. Well, AJ, I might be lagging out. Or not having everything pop up. Actually, it might be because the ship is just off. Hold on. I might actually have to turn the whole ship on. Lyle, I haven't seen them. But I haven't done a hardcore search either. All right, let's just power the whole ship on. Try this again. Heck yes! Thank you! Oh my god, thank you so much. That is... That is dinner right there. That is... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That is... The most beautiful thing I've seen. All day. Thank you to my mystery like and subscribe person. That is, oh, that is, that is food. Let me tell you how much I like food. I can't go a day without food. Well, I can, but I get, I get ornery. I get upset. No, not, not exit. Ha, <laughs> Beatrice, that's not, you know, that's not actually the worst option. I could, I could probably do that. You know, AJ, I'm, I'm having a lot of problems with getting into the, uh, even getting into it. Like, am I just missing it? I don't fly the C1 a lot, but I feel like I should be coming across the button, right? I mean, it might be bugged. The Caterpillar had a bug where you couldn't sit in any of the chairs, including the pilot seat. 
Of Route 2 it is. 323 Wave 1. Ah, well. We'll take it up to Baijini. Claim the Cutlass. Get the Caterpillar up there. Put some cargo in. See if the Caterpillar is cool now. With the tractor beam. Lou, do you mean the one in the bed? Oh, thank you, Sleepy. Thank you, man. Uh, you know, Deplorable, that's a very good question. I could have swore I accepted that. It, uh, doesn't say. I'm going to hazard it's probably still at 100. I mean, Biker, it's technically had one since we got tractor beams, but, uh, oh, 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 Cerrone, Cerrone, are you still here? You might already see this, but, uh, so check this out. You're flying into area 18 and you're feeling kind of cool and all that, but, uh, you're wondering where area 18 is. Guess what? Now. You've got these series of blue blinky lights that you can follow all the way down to area 18. And you can see these things from very far away. Like they blink and you go, aha, we follow those to area 18. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea what the Dark Shadow's for. But yeah, like... You can see them from forever away. Alright, alright. Gee golly, I wish I knew which one of these was, uh, by Genie. You by Genie? No, nope, you're not. You're not by Genie. Ar... Nope, you're Arc L2. Alright, I give up. I'll just plot it. Oh, Biker, it is. And I know I can click it, but we'll just use our fancy dancy. New plot system. Go, 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 go away, Moby Glass. Go away. I think I messed up my glass. There we go. Hey, Picozen. Hey, teams. Welcome. To the chat and the stream, I guess. The stream too. Just just welcome. Uh, a generic or general welcome on it. You know, Flaky, that's a good question. We could try out EVA. Yeah, let's try out EVA. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, check that out. 
as the lights disappear and I can no longer see. I'm gonna try going to EVA. The thing is, the last time I exited my seat, the ship exploded. So, uh... Let's, let's hope that that doesn't happen again. That was a Drake ship, though. So... And before anybody poo-poos me, Drake is my favorite manufacturer. It's just sometimes you got to be realistic. Yeah, it actually has lights. All right, EVA. It feels good. Like I'm not. All right, I'm going to hit my head. Oh, my God, I didn't fling about like a melted popsicle I oh my god it actually I've got a gun out I hit something I'm I'm good I'm so good I'm not <laughs> oh this is nice oh this is nice Oh my god, that transition was so smooth. I haven't seen a transition that memorable since I watched the Japanese horror movie House. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happens if we go in upside down? Let's get some speed set up. Okay, so we're just, we're going to portal it, which I'm okay with. Yeah, Crimson. Yeah. Them extended warranty people don't even call anymore. Hey, look at this. We can hit dead on and we just, we just stop. We don't even ragdoll. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Yeah, like the insta flip's a little gamey, but honestly, honestly, I'll take it, you know? Now, I appear to still be lactating jet fuel, but I mean, that's happened in previous patches. I'm sure they'll fix it. See if maybe I come back gently, it'll fix. Oh, I'm sorry, Raymond. Let me, uh, here. You can kind of see as we Superman all across the place. Yeah, no, this EVA system is much better. Yeah, no, Potato, I agree with you there. But for the sake of... Hmm. Yep, I still appear to be... Can I? Okay, there we go. Just easing my way back in stops it. But yeah, if you're talking about this screen... Uh, it's actually not usable. You have to... It's basically like an entertainment center for the bed. I didn't mean to get into the bed. I mean, Arcturus, that is also a smart thing to do. I'm not smart, Arcturus. I'm not a smart person. All right. All right. Let's go try this. Uh, let's go see if they made the caterpillar. Tractor beam better. Where? Ah, there it is. Look at that. They actually have lights on it. They got a whole halo of lights around the thing. That's so beautiful. Some that's not a bad idea. Let's try that. Let's experiment. And I don't think a button has multiple 
interactions, but I also don't know if there's one I can utilize here to find out. Okay, that says sit. Okay, if you hold it, you can just sit or lie down. That's that's nice. Heck yes, Lord. Uh, Matt, it's, it's got a lot of stutter to it, but it's also probably getting pounded right now, so. But yeah, the EVA is so smooth and nice. Alright, we're gonna go in backwards. Uh, AJ, maybe, actually. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. I think I'm backwards. Wow. You can even land backwards without falling over. Alright, tell you what, we'll try we'll try it one more time, AJ. Let me in. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Raymond. See, here's the thing. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be exploring any of this. I'd be waiting for cargo. I mean, Mad, we did try upside down, and it just auto-rotated us, similar to how you do it in Portal. Like, you know when you fall in Portal and it automatically writes you? It pretty much did that. Alright. I'm holding V. Oh, that's the thing, though. Here, you have to hold V to, for interact. Or, well, F for you guys, V for me. So, yeah. I'm still not getting it. Unless I just put it in a weird spot, which... Oh, they, they, they could. They could. You want to check out the engineering panel? We could, we could see if it does anything. I don't think it does yet. Now where did you see this engineering panel? Yeah, Lou, that's what it seems to be doing for me. It, yeah, potato. Oh, I hated face planting so much. Inkling, we haven't found any. Middle area. You're not talking about up here, are you? Like in here? That is true, lobotomy. I think I actually have that set. Okay, what am I missing? Yeah, yeah, I don't think we got that just yet. Do you want to use that espresso maker? Yeah, I know the component area. I just don't think we had anything for engineering in it yet. Man, if these doors could stay open. I will say these servers are being absolutely taxed right now. Yeah, because, like, we've got this. I don't see anything for engineering back here. I'm talking about the room near the... I mean, if we're talking about these screens, these are purely entertainment center screens. For when you're laying down. And then everything in the back... Unless I am just absolutely blind, there is no screens back here. Why well, as it should... That's how they sell it. Hey, Coyote. What the heck is one for avionics and gravity gym? Sorry, I know the stream delay is a little... Yeah, I'm not an arena commander right now. Is that 
out here. Sorry, I know the stream delay makes this awful to uh, to communicate. So you're talking about in here. I doubt they've open up. Yeah, that's probably just going to be for Arena Commander then. Yeah, still no dice. Which we could try Arena Commander, but, but I want to see. I want to see. If they improve the caterpillar tractor beam because they redid the cutlass tractor beam and it is beautiful come on let me let me in the seat yeah it's cargo time now Can I not decouple in nav mode? Boo. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. All right, but we can decouple instantly in SCM. Yeah, Coyote, no freight elevators yet. We still got to wait for those. Raymond Concierge does get earlier wave access, but for wave one, you got to spend like 25,000. If you're a sub, though. Okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but uh, I think they've changed the way thrusters ramp up, too. Because it's a little slow, then it speeds up. It's not the instant tap that we used to get. I'm following my, uh, my vector indicator, and it's much smoother than what it used to be. Also, boo on landing gear, slowing you down. Can I enter without dinking anything? Aha! Howdy, Wayne. Right, I'm playtime, right? I always forget about the playtime part. And Crimson, partially. Master Modes is out partially. And Colin, there's no count right now. I could back out and double check on, uh, on Friends List. Hey, Michelle, you are welcome. Although, the server is getting hammered right now. Absolutely hammered. As you can see, as I rail against the door. Come on. Negative, Colin. Here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, if the server will cooperate. So anyway, as you can see, we have no population count right there. Oh, I better catch that door before it closes. Why can't I walk? Oh, dang it. I mean, Mother Fig, it's still wave one. They haven't even added all the features yet that are supposed to be in. They just need more people testing it to see if it can handle. Let me out. Man. 
can't just hit R and tab anymore. I have to go through like 30 things. That's odd. Server FPS says that it's 10. I don't believe that. Oh, John, is that it? Hold on. Hold on. Pretty sure I had already connected. John, I don't no I didn't do that. Don't nope, let me back in. John, I don't I don't think it's working, buddy. I don't think it's working. Yeah, Matt, I'm slowly making my way to Microtech. I just I got blowed up earlier. Well by a bug. I exited my seat in the cutlass and exploded. Yeah, Michael, it's in uh, it's in wave one. Just uh, about what two hours ago? Which I need to update my drivers. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I might, I might actually check out DoorDash after all and keep going. Carly, I am trying. I wish I could fly into the sky. I don't... I don't know if the elevators are working. I mean, Raymond, if they did, I haven't, I haven't got to read the patch notes for today. So if I'm doing something goofy, you gotta let me know. AJ, I'd like to. I gotta stop touching so much grass, though. And actually put my recording booth back together. I mean, not gonna, tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to log out here, log back in, and Phaedrus should be on my friends list so I can see how populated the server is. So that's what we're going to try to do. And that means I can also look at the, uh, the DoorDash menus while I, while I wait. Right, what do we got? What do we got? McDonald's, Wendy's, Hooties. What the crap is a Hooties? Yeah, Chris, it is struggling, dude. Oh, Angel, I'm sure it is. Try it available. Okay, so I guess I can't see how many people are in the server. I mean, Sleepy, there was an explosion, though. Are you saying it was sabotage? Oh, man, I could get some. Pizza. You guys would be cool with that, right? If I just muted myself and stuffed my face for a couple minutes. Oh, sesame chicken sounds so nice. Oh, I've had a I've had a craving for Taco Bell. They got those nacho cheese Doritos cheesy gordita crunch things. And uh Oh, those are good. Those are good. I know they're terrible. They're terrible for you. But sometimes you just you just want them.
I just got to figure out what I'm going to order. See, that was the problem. In Malvern, where I lived previously, you had the big three. Wendy's, McDonald's, or Burger King. And aside from the taco truck in the old part of town, that was it. You had a single sit-down restaurant. It was a Mexican place with a blue frog. And now, now I'm just swamped for options. Like, I'm going through DoorDash and it just, it doesn't stop. Also, I can get DoorDash. It wasn't, wasn't really a thing there. Oh my god, we're in. Oh, nice. I got it right there, too. All right. Are you going to be bright white? Or not usable? Ah, uh, yeah. No, you're still super white. Okay. That's not how that goes. We're going to walk. Actually, Arcturius, you can still I. I is still a thing. Yeah, you can still... Oh, doing that on an elevator is probably not the best idea. Maybe I should put on armor. Wait, we need this. All right, transfer. That's right, biker. I sure do. I mean, Welcome James, I don't think it's a bad sign for you. I think it's just a bad sign for, for Star Citizen. I am Raymond. Thank you. You know, this is my rifle. This is for my gun. And, uh... You know, that goes a, a certain way. Alright, so we're going to spawn the caterpillar. See if those tractor beams are any better now. You know what they could do? They could just put a tractor beam in each... What do you call it? Each, uh... Each module. Hmm... I don't know. That still looks the same to me. We'll try it out. We'll, we'll get on it. Uh, yeah, that, that looks the same. We'll, we'll give it a try. And I don't think it's going to be any different, but... Right, I gotta start the ship up. Yeah, John, that would be... Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, see, altimeter is now here. Which works great on things that aren't the cutlass. I'm sorry, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is my capacitors only at 17? Has it always been like that and I just never noticed because I don't use the M-series? Oh, potato, they're trash. You can't, uh, you can't really put cargo inside the modules because of the way they're designed. 
And sleepy it does not. Caterpillar uh, module disconnect probably won't be coming for a very, very long time. Come on. There we go. Now... I'm going to keep turning this thing off and on. Hmm. Uh, so, so, uh... Hey, guys. Tractor beam for the cat might be scuffed, too. Uh, we'll go downstairs. Yeah, potato. Let me take a look at that. What is that under? Is that like under turret? Is that from... Not there, not there. What would that be <clears throat> under? Mm. Gunnery UI magnification toggle. that be under yeah Mabutu like but what would inter turret be under is is the thing I don't know. We had, uh, that long before, like you would think it would be right here. For seats and operator modes. Yeah, potato, that would be nice. Like, do we even have an inter turret? <laughs> Docking camera. One day. Although granted, as slower this is going, it's uh, it's making it really difficult to experiment with anything. Aw, oh, mother fig, you should get some sleep, man. We'll do this tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Tractor beams might be having a, a moment in 323. We'll double check the one and the cockpit. And then mess with the cutlass again. Well, that's not how physics is supposed to work. Excellent way to leave the ship, though, if you're getting shot at. Try that again. 
Oh, John, thank you. Thank you, John. You are my hero. So under vehicle targeting, huh? I probably have a button. Actually, no, I don't. Okay. What are we going to set this to? Control one. Not the most intuitive setup, but uh, I'm just using it for testing right now. I mean, deplorable, I'll need meaningful adjustments to cargo. Come on, let me in. Sleepy, it might be so you can cycle between them, but... John says that it also probably lets you toggle, so... Might just be a holdover? Who knows? Because I know the Reclaimer... You can enter three different, um... Three different turrets. In the same, uh, same console. Come on. All right. Yeah. So I'm hitting my newfangled keybinds for into remote turret and I'm getting nothing. So yeah. Tractor beams are hosed on the C1 and the Caterpillar. We'll try this one again, if I can get down the ladder. Well, that works. The input delay is very painful. Yeah. I have nothing there. And using keybinds, I'm not getting anything either. Also, I can't see out the window. That's quite a few bug reports to make. All right, all right. We'll get on the road. Go grab the cutlass. Yeah, gold. Go get a go get a drink, man. I might actually have to wrap it up here in a little bit anyway. On account of I've got a few things to do. So I still want to go shoot something on Microtech. Come on. Let me out. Oh, elevators are cursed. There we go. All right, so Cutlass is here. by one of everything. They have it by Genie just to see if the boxes are new. Laugh the mirror, I don't plan to. I 
Honestly, dude, the question is, will I even make it to Microtech? Oh, it's nice that we've got four of these out here now. Or three. Three. We have three. All right, so two waste. Two food. Yeah, sleepy, it's very frustrating. just for fun actually do they have guns here okay, that's the bar yeah mother fig we got terminals outside now Yeesh. I don't think we do that's the food court Gun store. Actually, what do we got? Might as well make the cutlass better while we're here, right? Oh, Raymond, I wouldn't lose sleep over it, buddy. It'll be here tomorrow, and it'll be probably, probably be better tomorrow once we get another patch. And Mabutu, I'm sorry about not being in wave one. Where's the ships that I actually own? There it is. Aren't these supposed to be gimbaled now anyway? Yeah, sleepy. Once you guys losing sleep because we're doing Star Citizen. No, nobody should lose sleep over Star Citizen, or really any game for that matter. Like unless your name is I don't know Bo Jackson or vehicle selected. Stand by. I don't know who plays sports. Like you shouldn't be losing sleep over it. Although it's going to be a miracle if these elevators work. I mean, Raymond, that's fair. You'd always get a nice book. Try using the tractor beam from inside here. Oh my god, look at look at these boxes. Look at these boxes. They're so beautiful. Okay, so Way still uses the same same old box.
That is nice. Ooh, that one's not labeled. Or if it is, it's very, very light. Jeez, that's light. Yeah, Brian, no worries, man. Yeah, we're actually on wave one right now. Uh, quick recap. Cutlass tractor beam got moved to the interior. In fact, it's, uh, it's right there. Uh, cargo changes are not in yet, so no distribution centers, no trade price adjustments, nothing of that sort. Um, master modes is in. We don't like it. Yeah, Mabutsu, I don't think I'm going to door dash. I'm just going to hold out. I don't like people delivering in bad weather. That used to be my job. And while I made Buku tips doing it, I'm not going to ask some poor kid in their mom's 1997 Nissan Maxima to bring me food because $10 is a good tip. Oh, that's so much better placement. But, uh, okay, we're gonna try... I'm gonna regret this. But we're gonna move out of Armistice and try this again. Oh, uh, elevators, the cargo elevators are not in yet. You know, no one has got a few frustrating things. The servers are taxed right now. And Brian, I will gladly show how Master Modes works, or <clears throat> lack thereof. Oh, snossums. Thank you, man. I'm alright, though. Like, unless you guys want to, like, buy me that fancy mansion that has the, uh, the, the air hockey table in the basement. I'm all right. Do these things always have 93 rounds on the capacitor? That's a big capacitor. Raven, I will. Because their safety means more to me than giving them money. And as someone who has worked in service... Like, okay, I feel awful just being a customer. Like, I remember working restaurants. And truth be told, most customers are kind of trash. But... When you're a poor kid struggling to make ends meet, you'll do a lot of things for 10 bucks. Oh, potato, you can do that now, man. Armistice is just a suggestion, unless you're on a planet. On planets, it's a hard armistice. In space, it's soft. They get angry at you if you shoot somebody. Yeah, Brian, like I remember being young, having 78 cents in my bank account. I mean, actually that's hasn't been too long since, since then, actually. <laughs> And doing whatever you can just to try to make a dollar. You see, Raymond, exactly. You should know then. Honestly, motherfake, if I set up any sort of GoFundMe, it would be, you know, get Jack to Bar Citizen on April 20th. But. I'm not too worried about that one. I miss it. Oh, well, there'll be other Bar Citizens. Yeah, Raven, you've always been able to do that. Oh, 
Okay, so turns out tractor beam just ain't working. I cannot activate the tractor beam even outside of am I outside of Armistice? Did I just barely not pull up? I could have swore I was outside of Armistice. Yeah, mother fig, it's a very tight deadline, which is why I'm not worried about it. Okay, I'm an idiot. I was just not... I was... I was... Still inside Armistice. Carly, I should be an SCM. Potato, maybe. Let me just double check right quick. I should be an SCM. I am an SCM. Oh, why can't I? There we go. Let me in. You know, maybe with as bad as the uh, servers are. Yep, still not working. I cannot get the beam. Ah, well. On the microtech. Let's go shoot something. Let's see if we can go find a critter. You think so, Carly? I mean, we could try it. Just to, you know, check it off. Don't tell me I gotta drop shields to make a tractor beam work. Raymond, I hate how unintentionally accurate you are about that. Yep, still nothing. I mean, tractor beam is just the left click, right? They didn't they didn't change it. It should still be I'm going to I'm going to assume But it's still... Yeah, I got nothing. I mean, mother fig, I'm not gonna set one up. If I get to go, cool. If I don't, cool. Alright, let's go to Microtech. I've been meaning to go shoot one of these nice new animals. For like an hour and a half. I powered it on. Like the seats powered on. You guys like that nice new map? Uh, you can actually see the mining claims. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, mother fig, don't worry about it, man.
Oh, the mansion. Yeah, I think by the time the, uh... By the time that I got the money together for that ridiculous facade, it would probably go up another million. Brian, Brian, let me get you the... Okay, so Brian. I like to go through Zillow on late night, Brian, because, you know, a boy can dream. And there's this mansion in my, uh, at my city. Here, I'm gonna link it. 2.5 million. It's got four floors. An elevator. And in one of the basements, it has an arcade. Now, I don't care about any of that, except the arcade has an air hockey table, and I want it. It has a Dynamo 8-foot tournament standard. Oh, yeah, Brian. I, I really want to go to that bar, Citizen. It's just, you know, travel and lodgings. And Sleepy, I tried. You know, I've got some time on the way to Microtech. I could take a look again. But yeah, like, check that out. It's got a grotto. It's on a lake. It has its own boat dock. A water cave. An elevator. Pool room. Ping pong room. Yeah, see, everything's powered on. Unless I have to, like, manually turn on the tractor beam, but that, that would be silly, right? Honestly, I just want the, I just want the air hockey table. I thought about calling them up and be like, listen, would you just sell the table? I want the house. I just want the table. Because, like, even, even let's say someone came in and dropped 2.5 million on me to get the, the house. I wouldn't be able to afford property taxes on it. I wouldn't be able to, to maintain the yard, the pool. Soli, you saw it? Where? Did I miss it? Daybreak, cold snow. Oh, these muscle racks. Come on. Power, power. Uh, Brian, it's in Chicago and well, it's, it's a suburb of Chicago. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Something Grove, I think? DPT sent me a message on it a while back. I gotta find it. It is in... Downers Grove. 1211 Butterfield Road, Sweet B, Downers Grove, Illinois. And uh, it's on April 20th. I don't know if you'd be able to get away, but if you can go, Brian, you should. CIG's going to be there. And you can bother them and ask them about the Drake Lobster. I mean, yeah, Sleepy, that's fair. That's fair. I, 
I mean, Zoliet could. It could also just not be working. Because we tried the Caterpillar tractor beam, and there wasn't even an option to enter the turret. And the C1 tractor beam didn't work. Uh, Mother Fig, the one for Chicago? Should be April 20th. Yeah, it's April 20th. Like, if I took the train, I'd have to get there the day before. Train's cheaper. Flight is, like, double. Oh, now I'm sitting side. I also want to go back to the Chicago Field Museum. Oh, the Field Museum is so nice. I like to see the lions. You guys ever see that movie, The Ghost in the Darkness? I saw it as a kid. And, uh, terrified me. Absolutely scared the crap out of me. Made me so scared of lions. And at the end of the movie, there's a dude who says that, you know, they're on display at the Field Museum in Chicago. And if you see them, you will still feel fear. And as a kid, that, oh, that freaked me out. But I made it my mission that whenever I got to go to Chicago, eventually I would see the Lions of Savo in the, in the Shield Museum, or Field Museum. And I finally did it back in 2022. Actually, for last Bar Citizen. So, uh, Rahim, you can you can exceed it with boost. Um, once I drop out at Microtech, I'll show you. So if you're an SCM, you have a speed limit to, you know, SCM top speed. But you can exceed it with boost. Now, in nav, you can go all the way up to, uh, to your maximum nav speed, which, you know, for the Cutlass is like 1100. So you can exceed SCM speed with boost, so you can go faster to close, but you can't keep it up. It's a closer, not a maintainer. Also, you cannot use turrets while in nav mode. Which is personally the thing that I hate the most. I feel like a caterpillar in nav mode should be able to defend people off with its turrets uh raymond supposedly or at least it comes with the arcade i wasn't reading all the details i was just like wow arcade All right, Raheem, I'll show you. All right. So also, whenever you're in cooldown in nav mode, you only have SCM speeds. So for example, we're topping out around 215 right now. Once it's finished cooling down, we can go back to our nav speed. Oh, Raymond, God, no, dude, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be buying any of it, buying or renting. I don't got that kind of money. Brian, it wouldn't make it on the day. I mean, it might. The thing with Amtrak is, you know, they are an absolute slave to UP's freight. So I'd probably have to get there the day before. Because on paper, it would get there on time on the same day. But, but, I have been on an Amtrak train before that was 12 hours late. So, you know. But as you can see, we're at top speed, 1125. Now, if we go down to SCM, as soon as we hit the button, everything starts to come back. We can shoot instantly. Shields come back pretty quickly. Now we're at top SCM speed. However, we can use boost to get above that. However, we still top out 
relatively small, as you can see here. Now, Apple, it's because Amtrak follows the old highway. They used to have the old highway that they followed in. Then they made the more direct route for roads. But yeah, no. DFW to Austin, you can drive that one. Like, I like to take the train because you can, you can kick back, relax, eat on it. Now, where would be, would be a cave? Let's see if we can get a cave contract. Yeah, they also do stop everywhere. That was a very loud sound. I think the dog just knocked something over. Okay, that's Hurston. Hold on. You guys see that? Last seen entering the lobby of a distribution center. I don't think we have distribution centers. Do we? Do, do, hold on. Have I been lying to you guys this whole time? I mean, Apple, yeah, that's true. That is very true. Yeah, sleepy, I am. Very. I mean, they did Saron, but, you know, they show a lot of things on the menu. Like working gameplay. Yeah, Raheem. I just know an atmosphere. Most trade ships like the Caterpillar are going to be, you know, hard up. Gold, I did not because it's kind of gnarly outside. And I don't want to do that to somebody. But honestly, I can hold out. Like, if it's going to be gnarly, I'd rather go and get my own food. I need to go grocery shopping. I think... If I reach, I can grab some chocolate that's on the other table. Well, 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 look what we have here. Look what we have here. Looks like what we have here is a failure. To communicate. My. My. And my game just crashed. My game just crashed. Let's see. Let's see if we can load back in, shall we? Let's just, let's just, <laughs> uh, where's, where's, oh, there's my button. That's Star Citizen, baby. I really should use that button more often. Also, 
For those of you who've never heard that before, that is the actual Billy West. Who voiced Zap Brannigan in Futurama. Friend of mine named Darren got me a, a cameo of him saying that in the Zap Brannigan voice. And it makes a wonderful little soundbite. Oh, Raheem, yeah, the replication is working, but that works more for, uh, for 30 Ks. I don't think it does anything for a client crash. But we're gonna find out. However, I probably exploded. Let's find out. If I wake up in a hospital, I crashed. Oh, Raymond, I already exited out of it. I'm sorry. And Brian, I think that's just the largest chunk. I can't ask you to do anything for me, though, man. Because, like... Yeah, because, like, Amtrak is, like, 2.30. And I can... I can get that. Oh, man, I don't want to spend all your points. You get those for a reason. You can use them. What if you need to, to go somewhere someday and you ain't got no points? Yeah, see, what if you need to go to Disneyland? And Marbar, it's been all right. We got 323, and it's... Man, I'm not going to lie. It's been a little rough. But uh, it has been nice testing it out. Sneak, I don't know if it's going to recover, man. Oh, Brian, I will only accept if you don't have to spend any actual money. If you have to spend a single dollar, or if it would inconvenience you because you'd be using those points elsewhere, I don't want you to do it, buddy. I don't want you to go out of your way for me. You've already done so much for me, man. And you and everybody else here works so hard for your cash. Well, Gold, I don't know if you saw, but there was a Corsair there, so I wasn't the only one.
guys. I don't think we're going to recover. Oh, Brian. Brian. Thank you, man. Thank you so very much. I seriously, you guys are the best. Thank you so much, man. That seriously, like what what Gold said, that is an absolute MVP move right there. That is beautiful, man. And, and, and Brian, like, I see the previous comment about it not being a swanky. Dude, let me, let me tell you about some of the places I have stayed, man. When I was a kid, I was helping my, my grandmother move to California. And my dad and I, like, we, we got this hotel room. Like, one of those, like, single floor motels. You know, you drive up right up to your door. And I'm in bed trying to go to sleep. And I look over and there is just a swarm of ants crawling up the nightstand. And I'm trying to wake my dad. I'm like, dad, 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 there's ants, dad. And this, this troll, this absolute jerk in his sleep goes, there's uncles too. And just rolls over. And it was just such a, a cheese move on his part. Yeah, like there was ants all over the place. Shower was busted. Like I have, I have stayed in some real wiener places. So believe me, you, you. No, Brian, that's fine. You can discuss it here. It's not like I'm giving you like my measurements or anything. 36, 24, 36. Thank you so much, man. Seriously. If I win any spaceships, I'll pass them along to you. Guys, I don't know if we're loading back in. Oh, thank you, no one. And Phaedrus, you're probably right. Like, now I gotta figure out where he got it from. Guys, I don't I don't think we're loading in. We might have to we might have to load fresh. And uh Yeah, gold. I think we're going to have to exit reload. Thank you, Brian. I can... I can swing the travel. That's, that's the lion's share right there. Uh, Apple, it's the bar citizen in Chicago. On April 20th.
All right, we're going to reload. You know, Wyatt, I have noticed that the load times are taking just a smidge longer. I cannot join... I don't have that available. Oh, right. Hold on. Sorry. You guys can't see that, can you? I'm trying to join on Phaedrus or Accio, and I, I cannot. Oh, Accio, it's fine, man. Not like I can join on you anyway. Although, if we continue to not load in, we might have to hang it for there. For the- for the day. I should have started a timer for this load in. Unless... Uh, can we check? Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, Raymond. I already snagged a uh, my little chocolate bar. I say that it was a little tiny chocolate rabbit and not even a good one. Well, AJ, we haven't got food yet. Outside's kind of gnarly, so I don't want people driving in that. Brian, I was too, man. Like, they got the distribution center, apparently, or at least the physical build of it. Um, ugh, entities seem a little stuck, though. Yeah, AJ, just the small one, but still. Like, I don't mind driving in a storm. But. I'm never going to ask someone else to do it, you know? Oh, Mr. Plastic. I cannot say the same. I do not have the willpower or the discipline to stave off doing doing that like i know there's some great health benefits for giving up sugar
Hey, I can't fault you there. You see, plastic with my kidney issues, I'm actually supposed to minimize protein. Like, minimize salt, minimize protein. Basically have, like, the least amount that I can get away with. But meat is so nice. And it's so hard for me to give that up. So I'm not. Like, I've tried to be a little bit better, but I cannot. But, oh, man, you tell me I can't have a chocolate bar. Ooh, Ooh buddy, I couldn't do it. You're stronger than I am. Oh, Phaedrus, a server error. Do you think it went down? I'm going to try loading one more time. But if the servers are going down, then that might have to be the day. I get close to one distribution center. And uh, everything dies. Oh, yeah, of course. It's great to like meat. Oh, Wyatt. Why did I feel you? When I was 14, I pretty much drank Mountain Dew and nothing else. And uh, there was this girl that I really liked who, like, she ran a lot of track, did various health things. And she did this thing where she was going to drink nothing but water for like a month. And I tried to follow her on it, and I could not do it at the time. But what I had to do is I had to swap my addictions for smaller, less impactful addictions until I got down there. So, like, I swapped Mountain Dew for, like, apple juice. And then eventually water. And I went, like, a whole month drinking nothing but water. And then I just kind of kept doing it. And now, aside from Icy's, which, admittedly, I do like those a lot, but I went a very long time, like a good ten years without drinking an Icy. These days, I, I don't drink anything but water. Except, of course, <clears throat> for the Icy's. All right, we're going to start a timer now. Which, the timer will be a little bit off, because, you know... Yeah, gold. I mean, like, she still, you know, ate food and stuff. Just, you know, no sodas, no... no she only did it for a month. I kept going. Oh, plastic. I wish I could do that. I'll forget to eat sometimes, but, like, if I do it on purpose... <laughs> no. I mean, gold, I've, I crash flying just about anything, but uh, you're probably right there. Because the last time I flew, I exploded as soon as I got out of the seat. And that was a drink. And then here, I may have crashed the entire game. Man, gold, I wish I could drink coffee, dude. I tried, and I, I cannot get it down. It is an automatic gag reflex. Like, I have to wake up and operate on spite alone.
See, Sleepy, I, I have orange juice. I should be drinking it more than I do. Yeah, Sleepy, like, I kept doing it just to kind of impress her. And then when I finally tried one, it actually kind of hurt. I also lost the ability to taste. So it's just kind of like weird, angry water. That's sticky. And gold it is. Like, I get up, out of spite, walk the dog, out of spite, feed the cat, out of spite. Oh, that's fair, Brian. That's fair. I, uh... Problem is, the rest of my diet ain't that great. Guys, I think service might be down. Because we are going on... That's eh, four minutes. Let's round it up to five. This is like four minutes, 30 seconds. But, um... We may have broke it. We went to a distribution center. We broke the entire PTU. Oh, thank you, Raven. But I can be kind of catty. I would like to say that I strive to be a calm, caring, and rational person. But my problem, my vice, is that I've got a petty streak a mile wide. And it is so hard to not be petty. Oh, did you, Gears? I'll let this, uh, I'll let the stopwatch go to about six minutes, maybe seven. Uh, Leeton, what is, what is 110? And plastic, that could be it. Like, if I was able to stay in the server plastic, I think it would have been fine. But, um... Since I had that crash. Yeah, Migs, I crashed out. And now I think there's a login issue. So I think I think this is gonna have to be the day. But we can continue tomorrow. And uh, maybe they'll let us in then. Ah, got you, Leeton. Sorry, let me find out. I forget. Which one do I need? Displaying for three, I think. I never look for the shard ID. The time, like, I can hardly read this. Ah, no, I'm loading in the 70. Plastic, not that I've seen. Yeah, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like... Looks like we're gonna try to... Try for it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Avrutu. Wave 1 is accessible. You just have to download it to the EPTU. Like, it's labeled EPTU. But it is open to Wave 1. So if you are Wave 1... You can access it. You just have to, you know, copy your account over, do all the usual PTU stuff. But you would should have the EPTU option in the drop down. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Simmy. I think it's just taking too much time. Yeah, Russell, I can see it, man. And I did see about the Fallout uh, Fallout series. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna watch it cautiously. Very cautiously, because they hurt me with what they did to Wheel of Time. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it. But all right, I guess we're gonna have to wrap up here. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. But my strength is waning. So we will... We're going to push again tomorrow. We're going to try again. And until then... I'm going to go get some food. Because I am hungry. Very hungry. And... Uh, I want you guys to drink some water. Be nice to yourself. Also, next time you're shopping for socks, buy yourself the decent socks. I used to buy the cheapest possible socks, and they do that thing where they ride up, or, you know, they get sweaty super quick or whatever. Then I switched to some actually decent socks, and uh, the difference is boggling. And socks are probably some of the most important things that you can have. Always put on fresh socks. And make sure your socks are decent. So. You guys have a good night. Enjoy yourselves. Eat something nice. And, uh. Until next time. Keep on trucking. Have a good night, guys.